Yo, I think a, a friend of mine's husband just passed from the. Yeah. Did you know that he gets mad at people when they sneeze in his presence? Yeah. Yeah. We read all that shit. That's a thing. He gets mad at himself when he sneezes because he wants to control everything. Because he can't control his own fucking body. That's crazy. That is fucking insane. For somebody to get mad at themselves for sneezing, that's just... You got some serious issues. Hey, man. That's that's how I feel when people get mad when little kids start up in the background and shit, man. Fucking kill, dude. Damn, you sound like Joe now. <laughs> oh, man. I'm shooting tanks and these motherfuckers, I'm lighting them up. And then they just decide, oh, I'm gonna pop this dude. Yep. And we're live. It is a world of tanks out here. You should fucking. You really should probably do lives on TikTok for your wrestling, bro. Um, um, I hadn't thought I about that. I think that'd be a good way for you to get out there in the world. Look at it this way, bro. It goes yeah, to that. everywhere and everything, and all it's gonna take is one for somebody to be like, "Oh wow, what the fuck," you know? And then, boom, you could get sponsored. You have, have to have, have at least a thousand followers to like, be able to do live. Oh, I. But yeah, pop, get the the free trial. I got some work to do. In fact, you don't yeah. even need to download 2K19, you can literally just click run now. Yeah, it'll stream it. You don't need to download it on your console, just play it from the actual book of stream. As yeah. long as you're not going to stream the game, but you can book yeah. it. I can upload your, your characters and you can change them however you want. If you want to change what their attire and everything looks like and everything. Oh, I trust your judgment. You've always done a good job by me. Yep. Even though I give you shit. <coughs> I didn't. <coughs> you know that though. Hey Club. Hmm? Was it your was it your DM? Yes. Try to get home with everybody I like to argue with. <laughs> That's a fact. What were you saying, B? Um <coughs> do you remember like Oh, Duggar. Oh, Duggar. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, um, <laughs> I, I suggest not looking it up because it's some, some horrible crap happened with that. Um, you, again, uh, I'll tell you one more time. You're talking to a vet, and I'm into the morbid and the ca cabra, uh, fucking mm. well, paranormal type shit. I, I like that stuff. So. No, not, not that, that kind of... of no. Weird. Like, like their oldest old son, son essay. Oh, no, no, the daughters. Yeah. The you should download older. this, King Slayer. You might like it, actually. It's called World of Tanks. World, uh, World Tanks. You didn't like it? Mm, not really. I don't like the fact that all the best tanks are fucking under paywalls. Or on what? They're under fucking paywall and sold the best time. Oh. Uh, That's how I feel about uh, oppressors. I got a premium. Dude, so I got, got a premium you have tank. To, you have to buy them all. Oh no, shit. I got a premium tank they gave me, and it was a, it's a T1. Wait, did I even go live? Tank. Oh yeah, I, I went got live. That shit out right, all American. And fucking, um, I kid you not, I get like five kills in a game. I fucking blow it up. And it's only a tier three tank. I fucking kill everybody. But yeah, they did the WWE fucking skins and everything for the tanks last year for Finnish Ron and everything. Yeah, they're doing it right now too, actually. You can actually get Becky Lynch as a tank commander. Mm-hmm. That sounds 
That's crazy. Dude, I hit that. I hit that. You better hope Seth Rollins didn't hear that. How about that, Bree? So. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, Bree. I just want you to know that it is a Saturday, and we're only one day away from Sunday. And the Lord wants you to forgive Seth Rollins, for he no, no, no. did not know what he did when he said what he said. All right. Are you really sure, Club? Are you really sure you want to forgive Seth Rollins? I happen to. No, only think about this. Just think about this before you before you try and defend him. Right? We buried him for a reason. Now, yes, I buried him because he stole my name. Right? But he became the Messiah. So technically, he stole the, your gimmicks as well. No, he didn't steal our gimmick. All right. He didn't steal our gimmick. He decided to come with me. All right. Listen. All right. Exactly. He decided to come with me. All right. All right. He is part of the church. All right. And I'll have you. Oh no, he's Oh, he's in the youth. He's in the. He better not be a part of my fucking church. Listen, he's not. These these parishioners don't belong to you, Puck. All right, these are God's oh, per yes, parishioners. The only part right. of the church is he's the guy on the fucking cross being sacrificed. All right. All right. Listen, all right, he's cross. A false prophet, sir. He's CrossFit he's Jesus. He's the CrossFit Jesus. He is a false prophet. Listen, all right. I know that and things. Are, oh, don't get me started, cause I know that part. I can pull it up for you if you like. No, you can pull it up. You That's gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Of them false prophets that come in wolves and sheep clothing. Yep. And all right. to someone who is. And Revelations even says, "You add two or take away, I will add to you the plagues detailed in this book." Wait, do I add two and take away? You mean like Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns? Alright, listen, listen. You stop this, King Slayer, because John Moxley, alright, John Moxley, Roman Reigns, and Seth Frickin' Rollins are all in the BBC, alright? Alright, we're all in the same gang here, alright? Same team, y'all, same team. I'm I'm King Slayer. Three kills, 587 damage, 820 XP, T127, MVP. Alright. Mm, define used. Does this mean that he can accompany Corporate Kane to the ring? But they match, Bree. They match. They're both wearing red. All right. They're the big red machines. <laughs> Oh man. They're doing him dirty too. I agree. I agree. Uh, I, 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 I don't think. No, no, no. As far as Seth, I think that uh, that if he if he wants to tow the company line, he needs to understand that this company will put him down in the mid card just as fast as they pushed him. And I'm glad that he's in the. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, yeah, they will only push one person in a couple. They are definitely like that. They don't want y'all to get bigger. Yeah, that's, that's wild. That's true, though. But that's wild. They did the same thing to Rusev first, and then let Lana go. Yo, that was so fucked up, bruh. Yeah, and, and this is why this is why the smart wrestlers get their wives out of the WWE. See Daniel Bryan. Oh, see Bryan Danielson.
I keep seeing people saying that they want Blue Bella to go to AEW. And I'm like, no, see, this is the problem with all these fucking marks that jump ship to AEW. They don't know fucking what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, that's true. They only watch WWE. Like, yeah, but. Evolution but hold on, though. What does is not. I have another I didn't even know dogs like barbecue chips. Because the fact that you have a fucking diva fighting an MMA fucking star is the main fucking attraction. That's not why I failed. Whether the fucking matches are fucking faked or not, believe the breed that fucking Nikki ever stood a chance against fucking Ronda. Wait, was oh it was Nikki? But but hold on, that match that show failed because that was like a house show that they just put some like some uh different a different colorway and then they like you know booked all women on it. But they like I don't know who did I don't who did book that show. You know who I did like though, and I mean, you may say she wasn't that great. I thought she was. Was Maurice? I thought she actually. Oh no, no, Maurice was solid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. They mentioned. I seen them mention that. I seen her mention that on uh, on something. What was that? Did it? Was that on the Bellas that she mentioned that on, or Table for Three or something? Yeah, they mentioned. She mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the Bellas was one. I don't know why they got pushed as much as they did. Um, did you know that John Laronitis is like with is like married to their mom? Did you know that? The head of talent relations. I. Uh, so it's real intricate the way they probably brought their mom. Yeah, that's cool. And I remember they used to just uh, escort celebrities out there. They wasn't even like wrestling valets like how Zelina Vega had to be. They used to just literally escort celebrities out there for a few weeks. It yeah, felt like months. I get that part. I'm talking about the fact that they didn't even manage wrestlers. They were like escorting celebrities to the ring. That's not even a valet. That is a valet. That's not a manager. This is the point that will always be proven, though, right? It doesn't matter if you've wrestled for fucking 14 years, 11 years, 10 years, 5 years. If WWE grabs you and you don't know how to fucking wrestle and they train you, there's the person that's going to get fucking pushed past the people. I'm sorry, but yeah. Bella was probably the worst wrestler. Uh, no, yes, I don't but think that's the point I'm making. Fuck that. She was low on the she list, though. She, she wasn't a wrestler. She was a fucking model before that. WWE oh. trained her how to wrestle, so because they trained her how to wrestle, yeah, they pushed her to the fucking moon. Yeah. Now, when you have people like Becky Lynch who wrestled all over the fucking world, that don't really make it, and then try it again, and Natalya, and fucking guys, everybody else, Sasha Banks never wrestled before she was in WWE. One. Right, but because she wasn't really known. And it was only just the start of her career. Don't feel like they're the ones that made her. They're the ones that made her. I will never forget when she kicked uh, Liv in the face. That that was just wow. Brilliant. And that's what happens when you practice matches over and over again, because then, you know, when you're in front of the live audience, it's like, we've already done this three times. I can sit there and do the taunts and not pay attention. Oh, look, I accidentally got a kick in the face, but I wasn't paying attention. Right. This is how botches fucking work, because, you know. Have you ever noticed when you go to live events that aren't WWE ones, they don't botch. They may miss for like one move because somebody's mistimed it, but they recover. They know exactly how to recover. WWE, they, they literally will go, right, let's, let's try this again. So you just make a difference. Right? They'll do the move again. Right? They can't really move on to the English He's looking for the tag. Afterwards, it confuses them. I don't know if you guys see. Look at the women's money in the bike match that Alexa Bliss won. Right? This is a perfect example of fucking how to fucking botch and knowing when you fucking practice the move what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Becky Lynch is supposed to be in the ring when Alexa Bliss is at the top of the fucking ladder. 
uh, Becky's at the top of the ladder and Alexa was supposed to be in the ring. But because fucking Nia fucked up her move and knocked fucking Alexa into somebody and knocked the wind mm. out of her, and it had somebody else on top of Alexa, so Alexa couldn't get up in time. Becky's standing there on the top of that ladder looking at a fucking briefcase. One, but she could have two, grabbed at any yeah, point, but yeah, took three to minutes to decide that I'm going to just oh, try and reach up with this fucking briefcase because I know Alex is supposed to be moving the fucking ladder and nobody's there. Are you serious? Yes, go back and watch that it. She stands on top of that fucking ladder and you could literally sit there and go, how to fucking guys. 60. And be like, why the fuck are you reaching for the fucking... When WWE Network... And when you see Alexa... Oh no! Oh no! Alexa goes out of the right back and starts fucking panicking. It's time to get the briefcase. This is shitty fucking acting. All you could have done there to save fucking time is jump back down and try to move the ladder. Yeah. It's not adjusted properly. Go stand on top of the fucking ladder where the fucking briefcase is and don't reach for it, just look for fucking the person that's supposed to be moving the ladder. And this is the problem with WWE and they're fucking scripty fucking let's practice everything first. Because you know, we don't trust you. They <laughs> <laughs> hit him with a spear! <laughs> they hit you with something too. Yep. I think I'll survive. Who's got a Yep. <laughs> From the marriage of one. <laughs> oh, he hit him with a spear! <laughs> you didn't tell me, uh. Has Preacher been on yet? I can't see anything. Nah, nah, I'll let you know. Damn! Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Yeah, hell yeah, they apply. Oh, uh, they too won't be able to wrestle for that. Day. If they lose, oh, if they lose, yeah, it's just going, it's going down. down. So, so right now, what's happening, Puck, is the guys who were supposed to be doing your bidding for 30 days, um, since they have not been around for 30 more days, I got one elimination. Um, they have not been deleted. Oh, well, you know, it just ain't been a lead. But what we're doing is that if somebody wants to open up these additional slots, they're going to have to beat them, all right? And not just them, because these aren't the only unfavorable guys who are still hanging around the roster, the guys we used to hang around with, all right? Um, these are a culmination of all the guys we used to hang around with, some of them Hall of Famers. Some of them legends in television and film, like Jason and Joe Bob Briggs. And some of them, like the scumbags. Yep, Ringmaster Z and motherfucking Dreadnought. But at the present moment, what the wager is. No, he's right now in the ring. If he loses this match, he's gone. Yep. I meant like he's gone from the screen. He don't come around no more. No, nah, that's the one who's supposed to be doing your bidding. Who took you to court? You said you wanted his patch. Yep. Yep. And yeah, well, he's in action right now. He's he's trying to get out of this maneuver. He's wrapped up like a pretzel. Right? He's got free. But uh, so. Um, this right here is uh, Nacho is taking up the challenge. Now the challenge is this: if you can beat him, you can have his two slots to do whatever you want. You can give them to one of your homies. You could get two more guys downloaded for you. However you want to do it. But the other part of this is that if you aren't able to beat him, which uh, this is boiled down to a one-on-one -on -one at this point, if you aren't able to beat him, the wrestler that you took that razor with is not able to wrestle for those 30 days. Nacho said that he's willing now. It's not going to delete Nacho's guys, but if he does lose his match, these two guys he's got, Eaton Beaver and Justin Her Mouth, will not be able to wrestle for another 30 days. Hey, that's nothing to laugh at, Puck. All right, they've had <laughs> they worked really <laughs> they worked really hard. He'll know he better win this match. He has a tag title match contendership coming soon, which means that. Yeah, you could, you could. You got enough time. You said uh, Impact pay-per-view is not for another four weeks. 
Speaking of Impact's pay-per-view, you know it's real intricate the way Randall Keith Orton, the three most dangerous letters in sports entertainment, put consequences creed. <laughs> No, no. I didn't. I didn't decide that you weren't there. I didn't decide that you weren't there. All right, life decided that. <laughs> Because the computer decided that Randy Orton should be fighting fucking Xavier Woods, who was the TNA champion at the time, and Randy Orton beat Xavier Woods. Yep, clean. Do you think I'll Randy Orton's entitled to a title match when that's not the rules? Like I said, Randy wants a fucking title match, oh, then Randy needs to go through the fucking proper procedure. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. Uh huh. Procedures. Xavier Woods already has a contender, which is Sammy Callahan. He already cashed in the belt. Again, again, another situation you coerced. You coerced. Erst this situation to be so now that now that the BBC's all together now all right now that we got the BBC all here Bree I just want you to know that I've been paying attention to this from the start and what I could tell you Bree no no that's not it at all what I could tell you Bree all right is that not only does Sammy have the full support of the BBC the Bullet Club and the church, as well as the state. All right, I'm letting you know that Sammy Callahan was a tremendous X Division champion, and TNA was lucky to have him as the X Division champion. The same with right? Do you know why he beat the champion? Because he's the better man. No, 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 no. <laughs> the actual fucking Pentagon came down and literally when fucking Zebra Woods had the match won, moved fucking Randy Orton's feet onto the rope. And then cost the Zebra Woods the match because they're in a fucking feud. So, yes, the match counted as a fucking open fight night match. It didn't count towards winning a fucking title match. Uh, you could say that. You could say that, but but that's not what you were saying to Bree three weeks ago. Sammy Callahan just got the active now. Bree, you know you could risk everything and fight for the world title if you give up this belt. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. told you, the moment that Hogan won that since he was on every yeah, fucking ladder match, this is his last ladder match. All right. Well, now that my my uh, my good brother Puck is here. Oh, oh, well, it's not now. It's not now. All right. Here's what I'll do, Puck, since I'm a good brother. Since Kingslayer, the general manager, won't give you a shot at the title that you deserve. All right. Well, you know one thing, brother. No, well, you know one thing, Slayer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Nacho's in a bad way. <laughs> if we followed rules, we wouldn't even have a fight club, alright? This is exactly how we got here, because we didn't want to follow nobody's rules. We were supposed to be a band of thieves, and you you hiding the titles over there, King Slayer, because you got one, alright? You're the general manager, and you're the champion, and you want to keep this all together. Oh, here comes comes the other half for the Quintang Quintingency. All right, what's going on, Fronto? Yep. Where do you think you're going? That was a pipe bomb. I'm done. I'm done. I know it. I know it. I'm done, done. 
Oh man. Anyways, you are offering a what? All right. Fuck, I'm going to give you the shot at the X Division Championship. Yes, brother. Well, you know one thing, brother. I think that you're a championship material, brother. Randall Keith Wharton. I remember when he was just a boy. <laughs> All right. All right. And we wishing Sammy Callahan the best of luck in the main event. But if Sammy Callahan needs need someone to watch his back all right if he needs no no Bree I said if he needs someone he can trust to watch his back all right he's got a good brother no Bree I mean if he needs somebody who's not gonna let him get beat up on <laughs> Let's get something straight. Let's get something straight. Uh, let's triple back around. There is no world. All right. Listen, I got the stone. All right. <laughs> all right. I got the stone. And I just went through the infinities of the multiverse. And there's not a single reality where Consequences Creed can beat Sammy Callahan. All right. Not a single reality. All right. All right. Now you might that night, but you're still coming up with backup No no. Let's 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 get this straight. Let's get this straight, alright? Hogan Woo! The Sinatra unit just cleared these two spots. Now let's get something straight, King Say, alright? You don't know what's happening in the BBC. You sitting on the outside, alright? You ain't invited to Sunday service, okay? Now, what happens every time? We're not gonna screw over. <laughs> We're not screwing over the conspiracy syndicate conspiracy, alright? Or the Bree team, alright? We're on the Bree team, the same way Bree's a part of the church. What do you mean? Technically, that I am. Tough guy, Puck, that everybody used to be scared of, you know, being sent to their fucking retirement homes. Oh, man, here you go, talking about Montez Ford. Yep. You know, he got beat by, he got beat by Montez Ford. Hey, I got beat by Consequences Creed, too. I ain't gonna lie about it. I mean, no, 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 no. Henny didn't get beat by Consequences Creed. Let's get something straight. Yeah, let's get something straight. Henny would spank Consequences Creed. Henny got beat by Montez when Henny came out with Vince Russo and Dixie Carter. Now I told you. You know something? Now, now, now that you mention it, you got a point, Kingslayer. That wasn't my fault that I lost. I'm gonna put this blame squarely on Dixie Carter. All right. All right, Vince Russo did nothing wrong. All right, Dixie Carter was out of her depth. Russo convinced it would be great booking or anything. You know, I'm surprised he didn't want fucking Dixie on a pole to fucking cheer for you. You know something? <laughs> if we could have made that happen, I probably would have won the match. You clearly sat there and said that Henny would never appear on TNA unless Dixie was there. Yes. I told you I'd already banned Russo and Dixie because you know, TNA would not suffer the same consequences. I would have done it. They made the show great. You know something? That's where I messed up at. All right. I'm sorry, Bree, but that's oh, where I messed up. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Bree, what I'm saying to you, you know me, the Why guy who's in. Um, because he's part of the BBC. 
What do you mean? Mm -hmm. He handled the contract. He doesn't know Maya Lynn. <laughs> That Brock's daughter. Yeah, well, Brock's in the Sinatra unit, and he don't know her neither no more, because I don't know where she's at. She's, she's by herself at the present moment. Yep. Yep. Whatever happened to your bald-headed, beautiful daughter? Oh, she's the greatest female wrestler that ever wrestled a match. She wrestles catches catch can better than catches catch can. All right, now she's in Nanda Parbat training right now with Snake Eyes um, and Storm Shadow. She got them to agree to a ceasefire so that they could both simultaneously train her. Wait, yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, you can't catch her to get a match with her, right? Listen, Kingslayer, uh, let's get one thing straight. Kingslayer, you putting up the Independent Women's Championship or the Fight Club Hardcore Championship on the line? Because Kyrie will fight for either one of those. Which one? You let me know. I am not falling for this again. Uh, okay. Well, you could talk to Paul Heyman then. <laughs> you could talk to Heyman. I am not falling. That's why Paul Heyman's there, Bree. I know exactly what you're going to do. Because every time I have challenged Kyrie... I've ended up fucking facing Kyrie's little bunny. Hey, listen, that's her best friend, okay? All right, listen, this is this this this. That sounds like a great a great. <laughs> reality show and yes. that's where she'll be the next time I'm asked about her searching for Kyrie starring Kyrie <laughs> yeah she got that staring at the sunset from her old man <laughs> Kyrie Irving <laughs> Narrated by Kyrie Irving Listen y'all Bree's got something to say Blank get out of here Who did? Exactly Um Blank Yep My buddy Oh, have, have you heard? heard? It's a hit, hit, hit single called Gotta Stay High. Yep, that is a available, thing. Available now on SoundCloud. I ain't gonna oh, lie. No, I, I need to go throw it. Who's the Demon Slayer? I go for the Yes. Not this one, though. You can find a great one. <laughs> On Puck Dad at Twitch TV. The League. The League of Our Own. You should definitely play it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, she about to face you right now. Yeah. Yeah, you think that. Come here, John Loxley. <laughs>
I went back to the party just like nothing happened. Better say hi. 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 Started snapping on somebody and whooped their ass, and then came back to the party like nothing happened. All right, and I believe. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Hey, listen, listen. I watched the whole movie that was based off a true story. Went and researched the true story and found the whole true story was a fucking dream. He truly had that dream, and at that point, I realized these motherfuckers will get anything over. Okay, so, so I believe that blank. Threw somebody under the blanket. All right, that's what I believe. All right, Blake got somebody up under the blanket. <laughs> oh shit! You want to know why Paul Heyman's there? It's because he's a great. Oh shit! <laughs> Paul, what are you doing, Paul? <laughs> What are you doing, Paul? <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, I made my oh new Look at him. Why is he humbled over like that? <laughs> Bree, why are you looking at Mox like that? Why are you looking at Mox like that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at Mox like because my stream. Like, oh, God. Oh, God. How convenient. <laughs> oh man! No, I, I saw oh. that, but when he was saying, saying why are you getting mocked like Oh man, Paul Heyman looked like. <laughs> it looks like y'all would have a relationship squabble after this. And Paul Heyman looks like your friend who he shouldn't have tagged along. But he tagged along, and now his stomach hurt because of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where the theme song of the show kicks in. It's the end of the episode. Like the fucking nah. It's like going <laughs> it definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, now I can watch the stream and play my tapes. Alright, alright. I never wanted him there. Alright, alright, listen, Bree, you won't have to worry about this any further. 
We yep. hear about Paul Heyman with his pipe bomb opponent. on Vince? No rules. Sign nah, up. what happened? What did he say? He said that when he said about his dad giving over the company and all that shit, and uh, oh, he yeah. went off on him and said that he, he destroyed all of the... Dude, I fucking love the Preacher King Slayer. That is exactly perfect. Wow. This, this is, is like oh, he's, he's talking, talking about, about a while, while ago. ago. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, he like, just came out and said that uh, Vince told him, he said, he goes, you don't want to hear anything I have to say, what I'm going to say? He's like, nope. He's like, are you sure? Because he's like, he goes, don't care. Just go out and make me money. Wow. Wow. I forgot what the fucking preacher's entrance was. Um, yeah, word up. I am kind of too. Yes, that's me, Bruce. You can ask eight ball questions. Henny Omega was embarrassed. What was it, what was it Paul Heyman says? Paris, embarrassed. Humiliated. Degraded by Montez Ford. So now Henny is getting everybody else to fight his battles for him. No, no. Montez Ford is a exceptional athlete. You're praying that Montez gets injured so you literally sent out the why the fuck is there a big tank from I don't know. <laughs> There's a big drop of blood. It's just... See, King Surge is hating as usual. Oh, yeah, it, it might be... It might be that death row thing. Yep. Yep. Oh, that, that, that just makes it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's creepy. Exactly. Hey, so, you know how um, um, Kanye's invited to Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. So are well, you. according to a ball, Harry Styles invited to Alright, yo. Listen, if Harry Styles is down to eat some uh, some macaroni and cheese and stuff, and that's cool, man. But, Bree, you I can't mean, have turkey, right? So I gotta hook you up with something yeah. else. I got you. Hey, yo, we gonna have some vegetables? Well, I don't cook my vegetables with meat most of the time, so he'll be alright. He has a dairy stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's better to tell you. Oh, yeah, I forgot I combined the entry scheme. Yeah, you did that shit. Yep, the preacher's here, ladies and gentlemen. And he's here to stay. And why wouldn't he be? That's crazy, man. Yeah, but the reason why I said Moxie and the Preacher were teamed up was uh, the BBC recently acquired the faction championships. Had a series of six-man tag matches. Oh, no. Series of triple threat tag team matches. And, um... Hmm? Why did you not... Yeah, that's facts. No, that's not what I was gonna say. I asked Eight Ball if Undertaker was invited to your race for Thanksgiving, and it said no. Uh, he's not. Why the hell are you uninviting Undertaker? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I got his note. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Yep, and it seems like the dollars from the parishioners were not wasted. Yep, those are your tax dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Even better. <laughs> no, I wasn't supposed to be uh, Joel Olstein or Benny Hunt. <laughs> Listen, the, the preacher doesn't drive a Maserati, y'all, alright? He drives a church van. I know it, you know it. Oh, damn. Um, also, according to 8 Ball, Bret Hart is perhaps invited to the Thanksgiving Yeah, but it's because you should have the eight ball and fucking watch a Bret Hart match like Dean Bryant. Yeah, I'm going to. Yep. I'm fighting words, Bray. Watching a Bret Hart Thanksgiving match. Yep. On to the sport. 
Man, he's listen. I'm not. I'm not sanctioning Montez for it. There's. I'm not. Putting, you know, <laughs> I, I just realized what, what makes his entry to the better now. Uh, I get it, man. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? Uh, what I think is funny is that I asked April if watching a Bret Hart match was like watching Paint Dry, and it said George. Oh, man. Yep. Well, because Montez Ford was on the screen, he made a face with the glasses. I'm going to end this guy. I mean, there's. I'm not saying that I have an issue with Montez Ford. In fact, I don't. I think he's an exceptional athlete, all right? Uh, an incredible addition to the WWE roster, and he's got a bright future. Ooh, I want to know if... King Slayer is invited. And he can jump really, really high. He can jump really high, look. Preacher. Hey, listen, you said it, not me. I said he You know, he has a lot more moves in this game than WWE allows him to do. That's true. Tag partner does all the moves. I don't like his tag partner. His tag partner is a good wrestler. Lock it in here. <laughs> so, King Sir, you, you might, might be happy, happy to know, know that according to 8 Ball, the yeah, album is going to apply to when you finish the sentence. Just one minute. You're, you're, you're invited to Thanksgiving. Yes, because you know, history repeats itself. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't giving me smallpox, nigga. I'm immune. I've been drinking this shit right here. Hold on, man. This shit is called I Need Immunity, alright? Slayer to a Thanksgiving, asking for it. Yeah, I know. I'm asking you to carve a turkey. <laughs> yeah, you're going to slay that shit out of that turkey. Is this just a singles match? Nothing involved? Yeah, yeah, this is just a singles match. Nothing involved. This is actually the definition of a grudge match. One thing I've noticed with Club though, he's bringing God damn! What the fuck you talking about? You just threw that motherfucker out of the ring! I don't think I've ever seen that before! Oh! There have been so many times that I've sold that knowing it was never gonna happen, but he actually just threw that motherfucker out of the ring! Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't think that was an actual move. What? <laughs> he threw him all the way. He lawn darted that nigga onto the floor. He lawn darted him. Hello, kid. We almost threw him into the crowd. What the fuck? What the fuck? He threw him out of the ring, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think I've seen that. I'm not. I'm not gonna go that deep. Damn. Oh shit. I didn't think he was gonna catch him. Oh wow. Wait. Oh shit. He'd have been better, sir. Yeah, he'd have been better, sir, going to the top right there. Wasting too much time going outside. Got the kendo stick, but can he. Nope. Yep. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yep, yep. Then this match feature and the preacher threw that shit out the ring too. One, two. Damn. It's the speedy grab that and then just head away to school. Like get about it, like give me that smack. Damn. You have been invited to the beginning at Netflix. That's facts. According to 8 Ball. And also, 8 Ball says that Vince McMahon is not invited. No, uh, he's not invited. He's not invited. <laughs> Stephanie is, though. Stephanie McMahon is definitely invited. She's always Never. welcome. I would just like to clarify me and Yep. 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 Well, I know it's, it's a lot involved with COVID, visas, passports, and all that type of shit. It's a lot of paperwork. And, and, yep. Yeah. Oh, I agree, but in this match type, I believe this is an Extreme Rules match. It does, this match doesn't have the, uh, the what's in there? 
He's got three. Yeah, he's got three, to be completely honest. Got some disciples, maybe. Is that being perhaps invited? Oh, she's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. One of them's the brain, the other one's the bruiser. Yeah. Just need to get just just shame you didn't have LeBron. He's going for it all. Yep. And here's the body. Yeah. 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 Yeah. That was that frog splash. That Montez jumping again. Uh, hold on, he's getting it now. He's getting it now. The preacher rolled over for it. Oh, and the preacher rolled out the way. No, shit, he's taunting too much, though. He's got too much uh, Henny in him. Yep. Damn, Montez fighting out the corner, getting that, getting the advantage here. And again, man, this. It's the crucifixion. And here's my I was gonna call it that, but I want to Oh damn! Well, I'm I'm willing to go there. Yep. You ain't gonna have to say it. You ain't gonna have to say it 58 times. I'll say it. I know it. You know it. These people know it now. Oh man. And listen, there's no there's no vendetta against. There's no vendetta against him. Yep. There you go. What? What? Oh, Montez, quick on the upkeep. And kipped up. Damn, and hit you with the drop toes. Hold up. Yep, there goes that jumping. Damn. Yeah, he did. Montez. I like the way Montez fluidly just pulled that over. Yep, that's it right there. That's it. That's game. Montez can't stay around after that. That's it. Yes, he can. He's tapping. He's tapping. No way. Mm -hmm. um, according to Eight Ball, you did not invite Mox for me and the to the season. Nope. Baby's not invited. Maybe, maybe Wayne. But that's Kingslayer. Was that the finisher? I like it. I'm about to go get some more tea in a second. I can't take miles off this match. This is a great match. Oh, shit. Montez mocking him now. Yep. Wow. Yep. Montez catching the Holy Ghost. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what we should call oh, this shit. Yep. I think that's what's, what's happening. Yeah. The most vicious move in the fight club, the neck breaker. Um, oh, boy. Oh, okay. Yep. I gotta go with the crucifix. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Wow! 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 Montez for the final odds. Oh shit, he ain't got much, but he got a little left in the tank. Oh! Wait a minute, where is he going? Oh, I thought he was going all the way to the other side. I thought he was going to jump all the way out the gym. Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Preacher's too smart for that. Yep, Preacher don't need no help. Oh shit, Montez back on top. <laughs> this is a beautiful matchup. Yep, two guys who have been, have been hot the past few weeks. Montez taking on Henny. Um, Preacher in a series of matches. Uh, um, you gotta go to this button. Yeah, it looked like a little share thing. We're gonna see it. 
it, it's, it's the square with, with the up, up button. button. Yep. That. That's the second one. You, yep. You click, you have to click the screen and the little, it'll bring stuff up on the... What? 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 <laughs> what? Are you on? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! He kicked out, bruh. He kicked this referee. Is the world class referee? All right, I'm not gonna talk shit about him or nothing. This is the world class referee. Oh man! Yo, no. Um, if you touch the screen and you're gonna pause the video, there'll be a little square that has an arrow pointing upwards, and you just click that, and then at the bottom. Oh my god. Preachers in a bad way. Oh god. One. Two. Thank god. Thank god. And then it should have a little arrow. Oh. Uh, that takes me to these superstars are trying to make it in the third. They have something left in their eyes. They have to. But to the kick down deep enough in the fight. You're on Android, right? Yeah. I am. Montez making things look easy out here. And here's Montez Ford. I never had a problem with this before. Yeah, Twitch changed that thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you can go to your page and go to the um, chat section and then do, I think it's uh, the exclamation or the blunt thing. I ain't gonna lie, you need the money for me. Well, he's on my Discord, so my old... This is like my fourth account. Uh, 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 he's pulling out all the stops here, ladies and gentlemen. It should host him. Got him! Got him! He got him, y'all! He got him! Hit him with yeah, the hand of God! <laughs> God damn, and another one. Yeah, that one right there. He is slapping him. He is hitting him with a lot of them. Here it goes. Yep, here it comes. Way up there. Oh, another day, brother. You never pulled us, but we got a ball. We got a ball. Two, three. Count it. There's the pinch almost in the middle of the range. Yep. G. Yep. 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 G. G. Are you still good? Hey, Pastor, you never told us your thoughts on God to say hi. Dude, this shit is fucking difficult now, bro. Like, you can't just hit ass? What the fuck? I do not like what they did with kids, dude. This shit is fucking difficult. Oh, I got you, girl. I followed. Are you following me? Oh, do you stream too? I came to my stream. I streamed on my birthday, actually. Not that long ago. Damn. Montez is mad. I'm surprised you don't stream. Kingslayer does stream. What's that? Kingslayer does stream. He does? Yep. Type in the chat. 
<laughs> He's like, prove it. <laughs> Bullshit. You wanna... <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I was just saying, typing into the chat so I can fucking find you. Oh, man. That's lit, though. <laughs> Man, I was up in Frontos. Did y'all see that shit in Frontos stream that time? The earlier today? Man, it was like, go watch this past broadcast. I don't even think of this. chat still come up on past broadcast? Oh, man, I hope he does, bro. It was like 70 straight, 70 straight hosses followed him, man. First it was like 12, I started talking shit. Then like 10 more came. <laughs> bro, that's just, that shit literally said hosses. Look, they're not IP stealers. They are club or die viewers. That motherfucking shit was literally hoss 03212 underscore is underscore not underscore uh underscore bot. I'm like, all right, so they look. Listening to the stream. They listen to the stream, man. <laughs> the, um, the sun just followed me. Let's go. Clearly not. Right. And here comes the Ripper. Oh shit, the Ripper, treacherous as ever. Jealous of Shabaka. Yep. Oh man, that's funny, man. Pronto, if you listening, we'll find out who the Yep. Yeah, and his wrestlers in the ring right now, this big cat. <laughs> big cat feel. My one and only fucking wrestling stream just to show all the counselors. Yep. Nobody could say the bucket, oh, you stole my bucket. Like, no, you all stole my fucking bucket. Yep. No, don't forget about the bike club. Don't forget about the yeah. bike club. And the bike club is the one that has like, what, three? I get that at three times. Mm -hmm. Is Toronto streaming now? No. He's, He's been, been streaming, streaming the Sims club. He might have Oh, yeah, I know he's been doing that for years. The guest lock is in! The guest lock is in! Unreal! That's good. Not 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 good. Cut, did you get a vote with me with giving the vote, like, last month? Yeah, I did a vote. Yeah, it was, uh, club. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not Donald Trump. You were, yes, I know, but you were representing him. I'm speaking for the people who represent him. <laughs> yep. Did you not get a vote in that? Okay. My further question is, who would you have voted for if you had gotten said vote? Yep. <laughs> yep. That was the right I mean, answer. Yeah. An hey, you want to do the recount? Because <laughs> you, you, we need to over, uh, the independent arbitrator because I know Trump won. Yeah, we do, because I want to know how fucking we you know he's double from having 11 votes to suddenly having 14 being equal. You know, when there's nobody else was allowed to cast that vote, they were well, when we had this recount, I'll list all the votes that Trump got. Alright. That's all the votes Trump got. Yep. All of them by name. Mr. Tiger, go for the one that's like so ill, because they I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Alright. Is it me? 
Oh, well, we're not. No, no, not for voting for Cole Quinn, no. No. And we understand this is a democracy. All right. No, he didn't. No, no, no. Bree is the leader of the BBC. All right. Technically, I never asked for that. They just started telling me that. Yep. And it's the truth. Right. In line. Yeah, at the front of it. Alright. But we got more than a line. We got a line, a table, a shield, a church. The only reason that Reed, do you want me to tell you the absolute no, truth? Is the, truth. the only reason that the Reed, you the the is because you managed to convince Casey to join your group. No. Casey, no. 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 But it's just sick. He ain't in the Bullet Club. Alright. Casey is not only. So what? Sincere was already in the BBC. Alright. Sincere was already in the BBC. And yes, Bree may have landed a big fish. Alright. But we already got big fish. Alright. It's not bad, boy. No, it's the big bullet church. <laughs> you know that's pretty funny. Yep. Yep. You got you know you're really funny, Kingslayer, alright? You're really funny, alright. Alright, but let's get one thing straight. We bad. We Michael Jackson bad, alright? Alright. And and that's all we needed to be, all right? Now, we're not out here trying to steal championships like x Dog. all right? Sneaking up with briefcases, talking about I got a title match right here in the middle of your match, all right? We but not... Is that, really? Yeah. Was the, the entire conversation with Randy Orton earlier? Uh, uh, I said... And, 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 and let me finish saying this, okay? You see what I mean, Bree? You see how the, the things that benefit the bad Bullet Club... All right, let's get let's get let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing straight. All right. There is no divide. There is one. <laughs> He's the people's champ. All right. All right. You know something? You know something? I still remember that one. All right. Well, well, I think that it's as fitting now a time as any that uh that we officially, officially. I think it's time that we officially, officially. Uh, announced that the Loyal Rumble will be commencing in less than two weeks time and at that pay-per-view as per the rule book in the Fight Club whoever he so whoever holds the Loyal Rumble champion when the Royal Rumble is announced gets the world title shot at any Fight Club championship that they want, including the Fight Club Heavyweight Championship, which is currently held by the Bruiser. All right. Over 365 days ago, <laughs> the, <laughs> the Loyal Rumble Championship was trashed. All right by the Kingslayer but the Kingslayer alleges that he put this championship in a golden trash can fit with a red burlap sack alright 
And he has said that he has on a pawn of Fortnite retrieved said Lord Rumble Championship. Dusted it off, turned that some of it sideways and stuck it straight on his shoulder. Because he is waltzing into the Loyal Rumble as your Loyal Rumble champion. Which means that he has submitted this championship on management's desk for his shot at a championship at the Loyal Rumble in the main event. And he has said that he is challenging Puck, the bruiser. For the Fight Club heavyweight title. Yep. So, mm, no screw King Slayer. He's done. He's done. This is treason. First, throw my championship in the trash. I'll give you some pliers, Puck, so you can pry the gold off of them. And we can have a gold rush, all right, in the BBC's locker room. Yeah, Bree, you should get in on this because after Puck beats the. the you know what? I'm a chill. I'm a chill. <laughs> Yes, you did. the Royal Rumble, I will be carrying it back. But that's why it's around my waist, right? But not yours. Although, well, well, as, as I said, you couldn't right. possess it. I right, so you did lose it. Yep. No, 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 no. See, I didn't lose it. Yes, you lost it. The belt may have left my presence, oh. but I never ever lost the belt. It also left your faction. You just lost sight of it, is that what you're saying? Mm. Yes, I just misplaced it. Wow. Rex finally won a match. <laughs> Why did it sound like you was eating peanuts when you said that? <laughs> Around my waist. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's... <laughs> oh, man, that's fucked up. But it doesn't matter, because I will be reclaiming what is truly mine. Yeah, he's putting it once again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do say that, and then you should know by now everything you see. Done here. Pretty much happens. You're not the eight ball, all right? <laughs> all right, you're this on the eight. Right <laughs> this is a spoiler. You're on the eight ball if you think that's coming true, all right, King Slayer. The, the title stays with the BBC, all right, all right. But it is with with also great pleasure that I also make another just as monumental announcement. As Itsuki Nonemu won the G4 tournament, he was granted a rare opportunity that only happens roughly once a year in the Fight Club. An opportunity at immortality. And that comes... Hold on. Screenshot. In the form of a challenge against the great GFT. And Itsuki has thrown the chicken foot down on the floor and is willing to risk all titles to challenge the great GFT. Ooh, this is going to be a good match. In Mortal Kombat. Yep. And I do think we're going to have that at the Lower Rumble as well. Mm -hmm. Place your bets for this one. I got my money. I, I, I'm going Jericho too. I say Jericho. I don't believe in Brian Anderson. Um, um, so, so question. question. Mm -hmm. uh, I know who's winning this match. It's the best in the world. At what? It's the best in the world. Well, then Kingslayer. <laughs> You know what's really ironic is that Jericho's the best in the world champion. They yeah, living it up. Just in my opinion, and I'm sorry, I'm the best in the world. The dude, the dude, the the best in the world. Yeah, so I get him that. The dude could fuck me. Hey, I get him that all day. Yeah, I miss him being on VH1. I ain't gonna start. Yeah, that's the thing. 
I really think that once you get done wrestling, which I thought he would have been done by now, honestly, no, he would both say that he was continuing to do his job and stuff. Yeah. He's still doing his job, but he just did a show that was last week. Well, he's been making them out for a I don't know, man. That that shouldn't keep you from recording. Actually, got the belt in the fucking first place, cause you know he was supposed to go and fucking do his little tour of Russia, tour of Europe, and everything, and then the pandemic struck. Oh shit! This dude just flipped over. I'm about to blow his ass up. Right, so, big yeah. question. Mm -hmm. Can we all dig on Superstar or some of the other roster that's currently taken, but if for whatever reason they become available, we can talk with some of them? Um. Um, is this allowed? Is this acceptable? That's why I'm asking you. You're in charge. You guys are in charge. Kingslayer? Puck? Is what acceptable? Well, I mean, it's not a new thing. I was blowing up a fucking tank, okay? I was saving. They <laughs> said the world. <laughs> the world of tanks. <laughs> you ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. <laughs> Damn, he caught that shit. How you catch a double axe handle into a damn... Wow. Wow, he is the American Dragon. He might be the best in the world. Well, I ain't gonna lie, he's very creative when it comes to the shit he does. Yep. Oh, was that a yeah? Um, yeah. Well, now, are you saying for the new game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no law <laughs> neither. Like, you know, I, I, I think that he should have played I, I think if they were to bring back the light heavyweight championship. What are you talking about? They still got a cruiserweight title. What do you mean? <laughs> Get over here! <coughs> oh man. Josh! I'm fucked up. Enough of that! Lay down! <laughs> the big dog! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh man. Josh, what are you doing? Lay down. Stop. Let me break in, they gotta deal with my ass. Oh man, y'all funny man. Wait, he's called Jaws. Yup. Yep. You're gonna need a bigger book pup. Oh man. Oh man. He definitely does. He fucking eats everything in sight. <laughs> oh man. Come on. Lay down. Relax. I got you. Uh, Cold breaker on Danielson. Alright. I know. I, one thing I can tell you as a thing is that, Bree, since you got John Moxley in this game, you got John Moxley in any game that, that got John Moxley in it. I don't care if it's Cincinnati becomes human. If that shit starring John Moxley. <laughs> All right, you in control of him. Bird up. Until you give him up. Until you give him up. No, I just seen the. No, I see. I see some gameplay. Death match attire. You know, with the pants. Huh? Yeah, John Moxley. 
Young boy? Yeah, I knew this was coming. Uh, and then he somehow, for some weird reason, has a Randy Well, no, I made that because I saw the movie. Uh, I think it's called Cage Fighter. It's got Christian in it. You should check it out. It's a great movie. It's got that chick from the 90s. I think it's Gina Gershon. She's still cute. Yeah. I'm just saying that the she she plays her mom. mom. It's what he's attired in need well, you no, know, I got all three of them attires. He he wears one of them in AEW, one of them in uh in New Japan, and um the third one. Oh, well, this is a WWE attire, I think. Yeah, yeah, I don't let him wear that one. But yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking, thinting about... about... So do you think Daniel Bryan's going to put the mask back on? Nah, that's going to take a cost a lot. Oh, here's a question for you. Where do you think, uh... Wait. Ray Wyatt's going. Um... MLW. You don't think he's going to AEW, huh? Uh, you know, he's the, the, the new leader of the Dark Order. Uh, uh, don't give them no ideas. He's going to impact. Um, a lot of people think he's staying the WWE leader. Managed by Father James Mitchell. He's going to hell. I'm not going to tell you again. Lay down. Club up. Hmm? I called the Dr. Adam Cole, baby. I, I That's why she's calling this. Yeah. Well, well, I said, said it, it for, for whatever, whatever reason. reason. If, if he so chooses to do so, so, I call him. Call of Duty is that? Yep. Uh, <laughs> You're talking okay, about the I game. Just... We're talking about the guy. I would just like to put that out there. Alright. Does he still come around? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I should probably stop giving him so much shit since he actually does stick around. He's stuck around through all my shit, so that's actually... Hmm. I have to think about that one. Blow up already, motherfucker. You're up, please. Oh, dude. You're done. You're done. Oh, shit. That's fun. Yeah. No, not that's video not clip. God. Why did you guys call Tools? Tools. <laughs> oh, the ultimate <laughs> fighter. No, it was like, like uh, there we go. Like or oh, a spin off. Yeah. Fucking video yeah. clip. Yeah, yeah any, any more news, news on the spin off? Um. Um. I mean, besides the mouth thing. I'm doing the party. I want to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? Do you like what? Do you like those? Do you like nice mints? Like when he first came back and he was like saying sorry, kind of. It was like, okay, maybe. But then I saw that ATC said the exact same thing. I'm like, yeah, no. I mean, like, he was in a front push the other night, and I think I'm about it, and like, like we're all on the other side. Like, you can take your paper policy. Yeah, yeah shut up, that's And he's yeah, like, hey so, guys, I need some fucking help over here. Oh, yeah, I know, I, I, I was there when I, I, I asked him to ask him to speak. Club asked me a question. I was talking to Tools. <laughs> It's hard and too damn. Yeah, but it was like, my apology was real. I know it. Wrestling's fake. We get it. We get it. It doesn't matter if it was real or not. Apolog Apologies are real. Wrestling's fake. 
All right. I don't live in that part of the multiverse. All right. Apologies are fake. And wrestling's real. And Goldberg is the most dominant force over 50. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I may just ignore him after that. I think he really... Jacked. I gotta talk to Goldberg about joining the BBC. Yep. I um, got to talk to him about joining the BBC. Who do you guys you think? Know, I'm not Matt Riddle, alright? <laughs> At bitch a mania uh, Speaking of 15 Spears, Bill Goldberg coming out here at over 50 years old, 50 plus. All right, about to. No, that's Triple H. All right. Goldberg is about to set himself apart. No, Triple H needs to leave Triple H out of it. You know, with that piss and company and all that. Yep. You know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> yep. The career ender himself, Bill Goldberg. <laughs> they should just give him Goldust's old gimmick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> With the paint on and a lingerie. Oh, that would be horrible. That would be like your worst nightmare come true. No, this is their worst nightmare come true. It's the big dog. You know I feel like how you catch the ball at the two Oh. Anyway. Here's when he was back in the day when he was the uh, uh, manager, uh, general manager of Raw, I thought he did a damn good job. Who? Goldberg? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't recall any of those. Yeah, that was like... Yeah. I don't recall any of that, so... And I want my apology, because I remember when I was screaming, I said a long fucking time ago when Roman left, he was coming back to the heel. Nobody believed me. Alright, alright. We're sorry. We didn't believe you, Puck. We are. I wasn't there, so... I'm speaking for everyone who was. You said that he was not going to turn heel, and I said yes. Oh, yes. And when he came back, he didn't turn heel. You know, until the pandemic. Then he came back a second time and turned heel. So technically, the first thing you said was going to come back. That was going to happen at Mama Chan. By saying, sorry, not sorry. I thought about his cancer thing. No, because when he came back from cancer, they, they, they you know, they, I'm in remission, y'all. He came back as a face because you had to record it for almost a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came back on fucking heel. No, I then he left again because of the pandemic. And then he you know, came back as a heel to be thrown into the ground stronger. That's when he came back as a face. You're about to win this match too. You said he was never going to turn heel because of how much money he makes Vince McMahon and merchandise. Yes, Vince was never going to turn him heel. But you know, the pandemic fucking happened. Vince tries to sell the booking company. He's trying to make as much money as possible. So fucking Roman, fucking Z, turn heel. It doesn't matter. 
I still said he was going to turn him in. You said no, he won't. Yeah, no, he's still said the place is going to die in December. So the question is, all right, which one of you guys can beat Roman Reigns? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Bree. This was this this wasn't. Listen, let's get one thing straight, okay? Roman's in the BBC. He's PWI's number two ranked superstar in the world. The number one is my cousin Kenny, all right? The BBC's on top. Do not let Kingslayer fool you guys. Consequences Creed ain't on nobody's list, okay? Nobody, all right? Randy Orton is. John Moxley is, all right? Randy Orton is. John Moxley is, all right? Kenny Omega is. Roman Reigns is, all right? So is Big E, all right? All right, we got briefcases and we got championships, okay? That, that, that the BBC members, okay, the guys that we got in the BBC are holding more championships in actual wrestling now than in any other faction in the fight club, all right? All right? Korean ain't holding no gold. Creed don't hold no gold. Cole Quinn, he barely even exists. But the guy who do exist, he just got he just got slapped up by Mace and T Bar. Yeah, yeah, Mansoor. Yeah, yeah. And IRL, he ain't got no belt. All right, all right. Now let's talk about it. let's talk about it. All right. The people that are in the core four in real life, the only ones that got some gold is Gallows and Anderson. All right. The people are in BBC in real life got the AEW Championship, the Universal Championship, the GCW. Ch no, I'm just I'm only talking about four guys right now. I'm only talking about four guys. Uh, I'm only talking about four guys here. I'm only talking about four guys. I'm only talking about four guys. I'm talking about four guys. We got the GCW championship. No. Uh, you can do that. You you can do that. But EC3, EC3 don't got no belts. Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman don't got no belts. Your God, them them death row guys don't got no belts in real life. You can do that, but they don't got no belts. Do do those guys you got in death row got jobs? Do they even got jobs? Or do they got GoFundMe's? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. I don't not talking about Fight Club championships. I'm not talking about belts in my stream. All right, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. All right. Uh, that's, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not talking about the belts in the Fight Club. I'm saying that the wrestlers that are in... Uh, wait, no, no, no. This, 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 this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Randy Orton's got the Raw Tag Team Championship. And so does... Eh, it's the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. Alright. Alright. John Moxie's the GCW Champion. Heavyweight Champion. Alright. The WWE belt isn't even a fucking gold belt. It's a big WWE. They got the belts. Alright. I don't know. I don't know what belt Finn Balor got. But I know the guy he lost to last week is in the BBC. Yep, and he just lost this match too, because Goldberg. I think, I think, I think. In reality, when Vince is paying everybody equal, you know, let's just suck up to fucking Mr. McMahon because he has all this money, so we're supposed to be like money. We don't know where everybody else wrestles because they're all in catering in WWE. Hey, listen, man. Kenny got number one, all right. Trying to put over EW with fucking... His best friends. <laughs> and they have fucking Bobby, Drew, and Roman. You know, the only three people that have had belts in the last three years... 
Uh, I have no idea. Uh, to the first, first one, number one and two. I'll be honest with you. Number, to be completely honest with you, if we doing the top five wrestlers of the last year, um, I don't see how Nick Aldis is not on this list. I don't see how Nick Aldis is not like number two. Doing the top five wrestlers of the year. Roman Reigns isn't even in the top 10. Yes, he may be the best thing in WWE at the moment, but that is a damn fucking shame that one person is fucking the only thing that is worth watching on an entire fucking company that's been alive for, what, 67 fucking years? Only one person is the person that's getting the fucking company still talked about in a good way. Because everything else a year in WWE is, man, this fucking company sucks. Man, that fucking match. What the fuck is the point of fucking Raw? Oh, the only good thing about fucking WWE is SmackDown. That's it. You, you wait, 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 wait. Sasha and Bailey. All right, let's talk about it. Where's Bailey? Alright. <laughs> She's on Instagram, Kingslayer. She went to Instagram. I went there. What did you What did you say? I, I said that the wrestlers that are in the BBC on stream have the most belts in real life. That means we got the right guys in our faction. Oh, so you're saying that Bree's a mark and Puck's a mark. All right, well, if you knew, if you knew, if you, if you knew, Call of Duty is not in the BBC. Kenny Omega is. There's a difference. In the BBC. You mean those guys we used to hang out with? Those guys that used to show out. They're just those guys that fucked off. Mm hmm. Yep. You were saying something like that? Yep. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. Top guys. That's your Discord, there's... I gotta download Discord again, man. Hold on, man. I gotta delete something uh, off Discord. I'll try to send it to your PlayStation thing. Hold on. Alright, that's a bit. Uh, stupid thing. 
Who do you have the police station up for? I do, I just don't know how to fucking... I never remember my shit, dude. Why do Because I'm not tech savvy. But if you have an Android, as soon as you close that fucking PlayStation app, you might send back in and get your fucking Android password again. Yeah, that yeah, should take a week. I literally have to fucking write it down. But ironically, it will ask you for your password to sign in, but it still gives you all the fucking messages. Because it knows that you're signed in, it just wants you to re enter the password. Yep, exactly. I know you're signed in, but I'm just going to ask you for the password just in case you don't remember it. Yeah. Do you want to save this password? Yeah, I do, motherfucker. So use it. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Yep, save the password and then the phone's like, nah, no, I'm just kidding. Not today. Nope, we're not doing that. Nobody wants a phone. Nope. Nope. Did she say a flip phone? No, she said an Apple phone. You know, the phones are designed for kids. You can give a toddler. An iPhone and they'll know how to use it. Simple. Yep. Overpriced, plastic, and break very, very easily. And it doesn't work with anything else. You know the good thing about an Android phone, Ray, is it doesn't matter what Android phone you get. I could go to my friends and go, fuck, my phone's dying. Can I use your charger? I can't do that with an Apple because it requires a very really fucking specific fucking charger that costs a fortune. Uh. You would be correct. You know, my, my, my Samsung phone uses the same charger as my PlayStation controller. Weigh in at 235 pounds. The Punisher. You know, it's simple. Easier. Well, my Android has the fucking, the fancy one, unfortunately. I have my iPhone 4. But yeah, I know it's the same. Yeah, but you should have got the adapter to turn it back in there with all the one, didn't you? Oh, really? Yeah, didn't you get the adapter for it? So basically I didn't even know there was the, one. The standard mini USB. I told you, dude, I'm not tech savvy. I don't know shit about that kind of stuff. I just get a cord when I need it, and that's that. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't been on Twitch is that I need a fucking iPhone cord, and I have to buy a new one so that I can charge my piece of shit broken iPhone. You know how many times I've dropped my Android and I've never cracked it once? Drop my iPhone and it shatters into a fucking million pieces. You know how many times I've dropped my iPhone that hasn't broken once? Oh, wow. Do you remember when they brought out the book in the iPhone next year? Where did he go? Do you remember the day release, you know, when you pre-ordered it? Don't you remember? It was all over Twitter. The first guy in the line comes out, look at the brand new iPhone, boom, dropped, smashed. I mean, I have good, uh... Stole my fucking kill, dude! I have good, uh... Nice, yeah, fucking sitting there working on this motherfucker the whole time. Urgh. Yeah, in order to save your iPhone from actually fucking breaking when you drop it, you're going to need one of those space cases. You know, the ones that they test the iPads out on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, like, the orbit. Uh -oh. Like, oh, like, it so landed. And it's perfectly fine. Like, yeah. like, mine, uh, mine case is, like, like slightly lifted. lifted. So, so if you can fall, it's not going to be touched. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's something different. That's something different. I might have to do what you said, actually, there it be. About what? Let's change the fucking password all down. Uh, uh. Trying to find it. I think I found it. Yeah, I uh, found it. I had to do that when I was logged in. Our superstars in a tag team right? match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment. They must find a way back to their corner and tag the partner. Something that they have to try and do is to create separation yeah. between them and their opponent. And so I do change it. And now I change it. That space gives the superstars the ability to move and catch their breath. I have so many fucking things I have to sign in on, I don't even remember anymore. I feel you. I, huh? the same huh? I, I got a different password for everything too. I'll teach you a little something here that I did learn there, Team Slayer. If you hit the three bars at the bottom and say you got like your pictures pulled up, so you did like a screenshot, you go over it'll call you can go back right to where you were. 
kind of <laughs> nice that way. Hey, Todd, did, did, did you ever look at the video? Did you just spit blood in his face there? I'm not even sure. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Put in spat blood. COVID! The, the, spit, the spitting blood taunt. Mm hmm. That Dr. Death, and then Dr. Death tried to punch him. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody has made a. You gotta believe this one's like, over. pandemic type thing. Type character. Called Corona or something. He's on the defensive here. He obviously oh. came into this match yep. and just thought about taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Gan Moxley! He has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Like He's bringing it back inside the ring. There you go. I need that open this up. You know what this is. Do it right. It's a stampede. Well, I need to do it. I'm a bottle of it. I'll also do it. Okay. Now I have to go to my fucking email and re re rediscover this. Uh, so irritating. Uh, I think this is the beginning yeah. of the end. See, Bree, that should be the name Not of your male character. Make a male character. Oh, but it's a lot of work. This is you could make a, ma a male character and call him Hydra. <coughs> <coughs> we know what this is. Could be good it's a Hydration. Hydra show. I already have so, so many male characters there. That or you could make somebody like the G.I. Joe version of Hydra. Hey, hey come on, come on. Come on. I, on TNT, it says XWE star Alfno, heroically saves child from Ocean Murder. He's not looking good here. Go see, 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 this is the problem, Bree. This is the problem. Why does it have to be an X WWE star? Because you know when he works <coughs> now, right? They don't. When was the last time he worked in WWE? This is the problem. They like, don't. Oh yeah, he's not worked there for fucking 15 years, but X WWE star. We don't really know where he works now. Why did they say all his W owner Al Snow? Dave Little Boy. They don't know what OVW is. It's not over. That's my point. That's my point. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah. There you go, B. Good job. For what? Spread some cheer. What a slam. This match King Slayer bad. <laughs> yes, I spread fear. Have to put in a little bit more work than that. And that fear made him leave. Incredible. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> it's gonna be a party, y'all. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team. October 9th. Oh, nasty impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's moving with confidence now, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Damn. They doing it in Jersey. Nailed it. This one's over, guys. If it first, you don't succeed. Sir, that was at... Is, it was it Suzuki? Mm -hmm. The one with the like, interesting thing. <laughs> Let's see if they discriminate against Lana. He's looking at it. Yep, that discrimination yeah. continues against women. Bree, you're not the only blonde that's been discriminated against by a referee tonight for, for trying to get uh Amazing. trying to learn how to wrestle. Like I mean, just for trying for for wrestling. Yeah, because you was in that your own match. Lana's still trying to learn. Apparently, it's going to be there as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I don't think it's on the same thing. 
I don't think there are two teams mm. like that who square off against each other right now. This is amazing. No, this is a game. Oh, the human torque. Beautiful technique. That might have done it, Cole. Penny in predicament. One. That's yeah, just a good thing. Asuka doesn't work in AEW. Now that's an impressive hmm. tag team victory. No, Tony Khan's against having this exchange of matches. <laughs> yeah, if he want to get paid, he would. Let's have round two right now. GG's. Wait, so they never got disqualified when they did the thing, so... Why was the disqualification done in the women's match? Yeah, I um... Is that just because there was two gay males fucking... That's a power bomb? Yep. Come on, boy. That's it for the tag team match. Well, you brought them to the ring, please. In tag team, I have to drop them off. I just want him and Jake. Hey, right, listen, listen, alright. He probably doesn't know. Against my wishes. Tech. I'm just trying to figure out if Sammy Callahan is watching the Titan Bottom. Why wasn't he there? I'm asking you the exact same question. I don't know. Ask Jessica Havoc. Yep. Sammy Callahan is a family man. He was with his wife. He, he, he to work. Yeah, well. Well, you know, John Moxley. You know, you know. I, I'm not going to get into the intricacies of what's going on here. All right. All I'm going to say is, how's Renee? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> how's Renee? What I mean to say for you is there's a conspiracy against the special needs. All right. All I'm saying is that Mox did that, and and you know, you know, um, Mox may be married to Renee. All right, but he with you all the time. And I know <laughs> that Jess. All right. And if I know Jess the way I know Jess, she ain't having that shit. All right, so all I'm saying. The bigger picture is my own life is going to be. Yeah. And why wouldn't she be? For now. Well, it, it looks like the uh, Violin Lesnar's going to bitch you, man. You have to keep watching. Okay, I'm not listening to you guys again. Headbutt, I'm fixing it, man. So, about what? What happened? What? It kicked me out of uh, PlayStation. It kicked me out of everything. Yeah, I had to change the password. Yeah. I'm trying to. It fucking won't let me. Whoa. If you, if you, if you change your password on anything, even if it's a website while you're in the PlayStation, it will watch that. It kicks you off so you have to be editing a new password. Yeah, that was fucking great. But did you change your password? I was like, oh, I'm sitting here talking, all of a sudden I'm not. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> you timed it perfectly. Because you're like, yeah, breathe, cheer. <laughs> Yeah, no shit, right? Good job. Yeah, King Slayer bad. Man, that's only three matches. What the fuck just happened? They got you, book free. Come on, it's it's gonna do it. Do it for yourself. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm a little rusty. I have to get back into it. Okay. I was a good time. So. Okay. Yeah. Fucking ain't right. Alright. You stopped the question. That's no way to mock the Triple H. That's just really bad. I get it, but that's not what's happening. Yeah, you see the controller making it look like Jericho's heartbeat. 
to be looking straight. I, I, I am a genius. I am a, I am a, I am a genius for you. Does anybody know what made Triple H famous? Oh boy. Yes. D Generation X. Yeah. Now, does anybody remember what the first thing on D Generation X's Titan Tron is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Triple H is a genius, alright? He called this. This is long term storytelling, alright? So I am the genius because I'm the one that fucking figured it out. He was the heartbeat of the WWE. The heartbeat is now It's broken. Now, if you think about the King's Wears theme music, it clearly shows the end of that heartbeat. Hey, Club. Hmm? Check out the message board. Alright. I made this the other day. What, um... So, Kingster and Puck, which one of your guys do y'all want to have fight on AEW Dark in the main event? Uh -oh. I still got KO'd, don't I? Mm, no. Really? No, you got Austin, though. And Randy. Yeah, zombies always had kiwi. Oh, I remember. Yep. That's why I had kiwi last time, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, let's go, Randy. I'm not. Or actually, oh, no. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. What about you, King Slayer? No holds barred. Randy Orton has caused me a lot of trouble. Oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all looking at these pictures? I feel it's only fair that... You guys looking at these pictures on the, the hangout? Hold on, I'm about to pull it up. You gotta see this shit. Alright. Got EC3 up here. That's not where you find trees, puppy. No shit, dude. That motherfucker was preloaded. Alright, I'm a little curious now. And so are you people, and that's why we're live in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, you could have been fucking wash. You could have been in the fucking thing. Yeah, no shit. Hey, you know what? It doesn't look like that truck's driving anywhere anytime soon, Bree. No, it's a 1996, and it fucking, uh, all it did was bang up the hood. Didn't even break the windows or pop the tires, dude. I just pulled the, we just put the, uh, took the dents out of it, and we good to go. This will give you an idea, though, as to how big that fucking tree is. Yeah, so what you got, I'm seeing is, uh, the person that owns Randy Orton's truck is being pinned by the <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> That's from the hurricane. If you don't know my ass, you are a I'm in a food pot. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, a couple of years back, I was in Oklahoma and I went to a for tornado kind of situation. And right down the road from where I was staying, there was like this pool. And one of the trees, literally trees, literally came up by me and was playing on the side. That's my baby boy Jaws there. Look, Look at that, that baby. baby. Yeah, he's, he's a good boy. Tree. He's, <laughs> good boy. he's pretty high right there. See the way you <laughs> told that story, Bree? In, in my head, I just imagined a tree walking up the street. I need to go with you. He's a horse head though. Yeah. Mm. Mm, not ready him, yet. Uh, yep. Club? Yeah, he's a beaut. Mm -hmm. He's a boy. Oh, and this is proof of what I was saying about WWE. 
WWF back in the day, and yes, this is me. The original puck. Don't do it, puck. Whatever you do, don't do it. Oh no. Oh no. That's me. Yeah, but on the, on the I know the sweater, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think I ever pressed the picture so fast to get it enlarged. I just stay right there. I gotta see this. But I ain't lying, right? Oh, you ain't never lied, bro. You doing it right. <laughs> I'm jealous. I ain't gonna lie. I see the ultimate war. I see him back there. I just, I just zoomed in on mom already. I need to see the warrior. He got the strap and everything. Oh man, I'm jealous. Oh no, that's it. <laughs> the child you has to realize that you are definitely holding that up like it's the strap. Oh, and my mom was yelling, and my mom was yelling, ho. Oh, my God. She used to watch it, too. Nah, she did it right, man. That is great. Oh, man. You ain't never lie. <laughs> <laughs> he look like he don't even like wrestling. He like, oh, I hate when they do this. What the fuck is wrong with this? <laughs> like, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a great picture, though, man. That's a great. I am also mad that you're not this aesthetic over the Ultimate Warrior. I do not get this. And Jim Duggan. We were just talking about Jim Duggan the other day. Hey, I ain't lying. Yo, Jim Duggan should have been the former WWF champion as well. I said it. Yeah. It's like, I don't think he should have been a former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, none of that shit. He should have had the world title. Wait, what's this? I don't really care. I trust you guys. Besides, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm not in. But that's my Navy achievement and medal in the back. Oh, there you go. Jessica Queen come out here to check the match out. Wait, what's Coco Brown saying though? Look, look at that baby. Well, I wonder if the game's going to actually have them sitting outside or are they going to not be there when we look? Yeah, what's up? Did you see it? <laughs> uh, but oh my God. Look, Max, a bird. Shit's fucking hilarious, dude. You're gonna cry when you see it. I died laughing when I seen it. I did not cry when I saw it. Go watch it. <laughs> Ain't even that long. Hey, tell you dark book. That's what she said. They show up, they show up on TNE every time. And work together as a great tag team. No problem. Oh. When the tag team helps. Oh, and then the next day, they're having oh, problems on another show. Up there, full bottom line. How you doing, brother? Well. This is like NXT's this is That's like AEW's burger. Oh, yeah. And then NXT people keep on rolling. He's a tight come back from once in the past. Hey, oh. ain't nobody can ever say that I didn't fucking mean what I say when I was a fucking fan when I was like five, man. Oh, man. That's crazy, man. I even had the wrestling buddies back in the day. Oh, man. I had the, I had the ones with the thumbs. I had yeah. uh, I had Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Nice. I can never get my hands on Ultimate Warrior, man. That shit was always gone. Yep. That's facts. Well, I should have let you the moon in advance for three of us. What? Put on top of the mountain. Did you even understand that? Yeah, I didn't understand that. I understood that shit. I don't care what y'all be talking about. You do. You speak, you speak King Slayer, but I sure. No, not what King Slayer said. I understand what goddamn Ultimate Warrior was saying when he was cutting them wild ass promos. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, I knew this was
Uh oh, something's going right. on in the ring. Yeah, something is. There's a mess going on. This two are getting heated right now. No reason to be at ringside. Yep. Oh, oh, Bree just clobbered her. Yep. I don't even care. I don't even care. Yep, I don't care what they got going on over here. All I care about. Definitely, that is definitely a BBC uh -oh, move right there. Is Bree picking up a huge victory tonight. What? She straight up knocked her the fuck out. Oh, maybe not. Damn. This can go a variety of yep. Maybe not. No Who is she fighting? That's a second chances girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, she knocked Bree out in the, through the turnbuckle and then just suddenly decided to go over and see why her tag team partner was at ringside. Has he ever been uh, back to the screen? Who? Um, that second chance, girl. Who am I thinking of this thing. The one that passed, man. Oh, oh Outlaw. Oh, uh, yeah, Outlaw's been back. He yeah, came back, I think, about two, I think yet. two times. That I know. Yeah, how's he doing? Um, he was doing good when he came through. I didn't get much, much of an update. But to be completely honest, uh, Swifey's the one who used to give me all the updates of what's going on in the House of Outlaws. So I'm just glad Outlaws showed up to let me know he was still, you know, kicking and screaming out here. Yeah, especially through the pandemic. Word up. That shit was crazy, man. I still can't believe that shit, bro. Was that because of the uh, pandemic? Nah, nah, this happened before the pandemic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Why are you walking back and forth? I'm gonna switch to Tyler. From Head Tyler, he said Unicorn. Okay. Just so everybody knows how big it is. I covered up their faces. Alright. We covered up the unicorn's face too? Alright. I gotta be clear, you know, because. Uh, it was nearly as tall as picked up the three. Let's do it, y'all. Um, did you check out that TikTok? I see it. <laughs> Have you looked at it yet, Club? I ain't looked at the TikTok, but I see your picture now. Oh, my God. If I look at the TikTok on it, it's going to take me out of the you can see the confidence I feel you on that. Oh. Uh, I know you. I will say this, though. I don't know if it's just my fucking, my stamp or my Android there, uh, Kingslayer, but fucking, I'll tell you, man. One, uh, two, barely a two and a half. With all the damage done, you have right. to wonder how much more it'll take a second time. Fucking, uh, if I've got Twitch on, I yeah, can't be on my game anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so bad, dude. I think you got our game, and it was like, it says, uh, start watching it, and it won't let me click it. Really? Yeah, that is name work. right there. Yeah, I really made the big thing I've ever changed. Wait, 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 wait. I bet you feel yep, the best thing you need to do is go to the fucking That's one of the most effective stretches you will ever yeah, see. Yeah. Just go to Twitch. Yeah. Then go to desktop Take view. Reversal for her there. So you get the desktop um, version. Because yeah. even if you go to the browser, it'll still try and give you the mobile fucking version wow. on the browser. Nice move right there. Just look for that little part at the bottom that says use desktop version. Back now inside the ring. <laughs> now back to the ring. It's chubby. No, there's the reversal. Got the reversal. Damn. I think she's trying to prove a point here. We out here pulling out all the stops. Wow. What a one. Two. Wow. We resorting. Mmm. So Triple H has tactics in order to pick up a huge victory tonight. Go for the pen. Forgot his weight. I'll tell you what. 
This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Yeah, this is just why Heyman was out there. Yep. He's managing. Oh, shit. Alright. Yep, that was a, an AEW type of fucking thing to do. I'm just gonna stand here and you get up to your feet and run towards me and I'll try and hit you a super kick and then get hit with a super kick. Yep, yep. That should look great though. I you wish know, I'd have had another angle on that. It was actually secretly a couple of rounds and the other opponent was Sting. 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 Because we can't see him. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's the only one paying attention. Fuck, you missed the perfect uh, opportunity there. Oh. I did. Yeah, you know what to pay her back for the... Oh my god. I can't believe she cooked that shit up that fast. That shit was fuck fast. I can't believe that shit even got cooked up. What the fuck was that? That shit was funny as hell. He's done. He's done. Oh man. Successfully corrupted her. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> My face hurts so. This is how all Villa Club members should be at. Just remember the millstone around the neck there, Club. That is <laughs> fucking hilarious. That is <laughs> fucking hilarious. I don't, I don't know what happened or why, but I don't. I really hope that's on the past broadcast. <laughs> watch they watch they flag that shit they copyright strike that shit this is John Cena's entrance song we know it yeah or they fucking they ban your music right then and there cause they're like you can't use copyrighted music oh my god <laughs> oh man it's a good, good thing that uh, Twitch don't have alerts when you get DMCA, do you? They'd probably steal that. Oh my yeah, god. Sure. They'd probably be like, that was pretty funny, we should do that. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bri, you're not allowed at Thanksgiving if you got all of that. <laughs> you got all of that! You cannot go! I can't be feeling like this, Johnny Turkey. <laughs> my whole you're face hurt. Look at See, this is why WWE needs our help. Uh, of the fucking fight club's help. Because uh, this is the one thing that John Cena could have fucking been told to do to turn heel. You know, when oh all the little fans that says he sucks. He could have literally wah 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 his own theme. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Symptoms, all right. My face hurt and my eyes watering up. All right, this is not right. This is not so. What? Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. See, Bree, if only you'd finished with that, do I have your attention now? Oh my god. Oh man. You know, it's ironic because I, I, I expected that to be the first thing. Oh, so we go going to it. Oh, do I have your attention now? Yep. You know, after his pipe bomb, like yeah. seven years later, he shows back up to fucking wrestling. Did you hear about Booker T? Well, yes, nobody cares about Booker T's booking opinions. Nah, I heard he agreed with Mick Foley, man. He agreed with Mick Foley. He was pissed. What was he pissed about? He did not think that CM Punk did a good job coming in and that he shouldn't have been in WWE and... That, yeah, he uh, basically said that AEW is fucking, the CM Punk isn't a draw for AEW and everything, so why should anybody care about it? I'm not answering that. Alright. <coughs> I know I was on a controller. Alright. Uh, are you in the Discord? This is going to be some battle. Uh, one on one. Mano a mano. Oh, and as we all know, guys, all know this one can literally end uh, anywhere in this arena. song for NHL 94. Isn't that out on PlayStation? You got that? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the one I got. It's sitting over here. Yeah, that, yes. Yeah. It's gone. Okay, where, where? Yeah, it's gone. I think, what, I got that because the EA Access is where I got that now? Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, man. That's the 94 game with the modern... Teams. Yeah, yep. Yep. Not the fall that hurt. Apparently, that was the most successful game. Look at this, Byron. He's starting to stagger a bit. But this certainly isn't something she can't. She somehow <laughs> breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. <laughs> Escapes trouble there. I wish I could, but I, I suppose, I like, guess. guess. Just, just some here. Oh, no, I don't, I want, don't want that. that. She's absorbing some offense here. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. Yeah, but we all know that she can dish it out. Oh, just like, every well post it. And with that in mind, other, I wouldn't be surprised if you turn the tides here shortly. Short. It's been an amazing... you got to believe this one's over. Yeah, I do need to get this Discord thing going you again. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. This could be it. Man. Ooh, what impact. Now that's how you make a statement. I can't believe you said that, yo. Shoulders on the back. Oh, man. Kicks out at two. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. We're looking at complete domination here. Oof. Spine Buster! Showing some quickness there. Yep, it's the part of the match I was waiting for. What a stop. Good. Let's go to the outside of the ring. She goes for the whole different story. Get out of here with a win early. She's 
still in this one. Back now inside the ring. Dodges that one. We got NBA 2K22 team. Nice. Can you hear me, King Toy? Kind of. Okay. Oh, my set. As he turns it around on her. Now that would have been a good before. opportunity for Cena to turn heel after he lost to Roman. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. Opinion. When she gets in attack mode, yeah, but Cena she to Roman for Cena I don't know time. how she did it. But that was impressive. Oh, targeting the stomach. What's that? It was I don't know. Power bomb! Supposedly he said he wasn't done, but he comes back and that's it. Did you and the cover? Yeah, the cover. Oh, this is it. Digging deep for a kick out. It's still too fresh. Oh, did he? He's a movie, he's a movie star now. Yeah, typical. Do you know that there's a whole generation of people that don't know that The Rock was a wrestler before he was an actor? I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Uh, I'm not surprised by that, dude. Look at all she shows signs of life. She's oh, showing a lot more good. than that. She's on it. fire. I think mean, they, they can know him for his charisma that he had when he was a wrestler. It's like we're the shit out of yeah, I ain't gonna stop, man. The meat rock was always best in the ring with a mic. What destroyed? She goes for the cover. What? One, two, barely at two and a half. She still has this one. The rock just broke the shit out of everybody. Oh, yeah, no stuff in that Big reversal for her there. <laughs> so, like, when, so, like, Rock just had this, like, natural way to do that. And it, like, just Some good came off right there. so oh, man, she's smooth. rolling now. The Disney voice. She might have. Um, like, 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 to play things that way a little bit, too. Devastating but I, I specifically elbow. remember this, this one, one where... He was, like, making like, fun of Vicky Guerrero. She big with the reversal. And, and just, like... Destroyed. And she did, but it was that was about as in your face as it gets. Looks like she like went right her inside the ring. Uh, uncomfortable. Going all the way up. Look at this. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. We've got a cover. One, two. King and out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. Well, Still it is, it. what you call it, what is it, the seventh move of doom or sixth move of doom? Five five Whatever the hell it is. That that lightning fist was just mm. Look at this. I tell you. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. One of the dumbest yeah, things I've ever seen besides Hogan's leg drop. <laughs> Truthfully. Hey, hey, Stay back on high view, baby. Yeah. She reverses that out of it. Get not it. a second too if soon. No, close call there. No, I have She wants it one I more have. time. I mean, that's, that's why, why you know, I have the profile oh, picture. That's the impact. Now it's time to capitalize. Oh, like, like, I, I, she I goes for the cover. Two, three, I have to, like, Did you download your free yes, games? I have to I have finesse the song. No, I haven't done the PS thing yet. I'll do it tomorrow. Now let's take a look back at these ladies. Jeez. It says you have plus. Say again. That's it says you have plus. I'm on about the, the plus games. Oh. Red oh, and Hitman. Yeah. She's taking care of I got the Plants vs. Zombies and the Hunters Le Legends Arena. Yeah, but you get this one's ones. Hitman and Predator. Uh, didn't even know there was a new one. Let me look. Yeah, the... She looked it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Forever to dumb like five or six things in one. one. Here is your winner, Jessica the Queen. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells oh, me wow. we're looking no, at somebody who's yeah, so better. Uh, maybe maybe we're playing again now. Clubs in the main event. And, you know, Plenty more action still to come in tonight, folks. Everybody that we know now, so it'll actually be fun to play. Was it good? 
it was, it was okay, it was just repetitive when we first bought it. Oh. Uh, we got it when you, it came out. Have you played, played uh, Friday, Friday 13? I have it, but I have not uh, played it with anybody yet. They, they said, said that the yeah, you're a group of four soldiers. And one other person can be the predator. This game is now in your library. Maybe I'll download it tomorrow. Well, I could download it at night. I don't know. If you put it into rest mode, it will download faster. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hitman 2, is that a good game? Depends on who you ask. It depends on you like the Hitman games. Where'd Club go? I can't hear him no more. Oh, I'm here. Oh, you play Hitman? Mm, no, but I think don't I already got that Hitman? And congratulations, Hitman Major. Two. This is Hitman 2, Club. You know, not paint drying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get it. I get it. That one, King Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. I'm kind of tired. Now I got it. Damn. Yep. <laughs> Hitman 2.0, yeah. You know something, that's not funny, King Slayer, saying some shit like that. <laughs> Let me take a look at this thing, see if this is any good. It's almost like a heart attack. 60 bucks. <laughs> yeah, the heart attack. That was a I pretty good... The the tag team that was a pretty good tag team finisher, actually, in my opinion. Yep. Venom. Yeah, you can't do that to Red York. This thing's so on. For real, Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, it's awesome. I ain't gonna stop, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people like that other one, yeah. Yeah. Yep. This fans did. I mean, I like this one way better. But his fans love that shit. That other one. I just have to listen to it, I can't remember. Before Cult of Personality, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, Fiverr. Yeah, Burn Inside or something, I like, or some shit. Yeah, yo, you will when you hear it. Um, uh, wasn't it? It was ECW. Yeah. Yeah, and ECW oh, one. Yes! I just got something cool. Hopefully it's going to be a victory over EC3. I'm called Fire. You still play? This is Fire. Play what? Super Fire. King Flair. Yeah. You still play Super Card? Super Card. I want to see the Becky Lynch cards they have, though. It's pretty badass. AC3. Getting ready to take on the three most dangerous letters in professional, no, no, in sports entertainment. Yeah, it's called, it's called... Three's not a letter. Yeah, it is. It starts with a T. No, you're not ECT. 
Yeah, and three's not a letter. What happened to him? Where did he go? He's in Ring of Honor. Yeah. He about to fight Braun Strowman though on YouTube. On YouTube? Nah, it's not gonna be a YouTube wrong thing. Yeah, he's got his own show on something. What is it? It's gonna be on Fight App. No, this is on his website. Yeah, it's on his website. I think that's what it said. Yep. Yep. GoFundMe. That's where it's at. It's live on GoFundMe. Adam Shear versus the character. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Titan? Is he gonna be like Spartacus? Yes, because you know, in WWE, he was only broad. Oh, oh. Man, Braun Strowman is. With so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Braun Strowman is gonna be alright, man. Now they can finally have the faction they always wanted. He's going to Ring of Honor. I can't believe it, neither. Like, the dumbest thing you could possibly do was get rid of Braun Strowman, you know, like... Bruh, bruh, they... The best thing they could possibly do is let him fucking Bray Wyatt, but he was the most over-fucking thing in the country. And, and help make Braun Strowman. But, but I'm going I'm to go with the Braun thing, because, see, the thing with Braun is that they said that they feel as though they're very confident because they have legit giants and Braun's not even a legit giant. Now, this means that if the WWE was a basketball team or, for example, the Monstars, they'd be in pretty good shape to take out the Toon Squad. But this means that Vince McMahon, no, Nick Khan, believes that almost Baba Tunde, um, Jinder Mahal's seven footer, and uh, there's one more. The great uh, Colin, the great let me interrupt you real quick. Have you seen what Jinder Mahal looks like now? Yes. Yeah, I mean, he looks like what he did before with a haircut. He lost all the games. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's not all the games. You know, he, he's still in great shape. No, he's not nowhere near when he came out of stuff. Maharaja or whatever the hell you call well, it. That's gonna happen when you're dealing with And look at the quickness by EC3. Ah, wow. there it is. Not so fast. Well, he ain't in the BBC. Alright, yet. Alright. But if we can't get Seth Rollins out of the match, you know, we might have to go somewhere else because we're trying to lock down these demographics, alright? Alright. Well, and how Seth personal? What? What did he say? Yeah, listen, I, I listen. Got, I got, I got Let's be honest, all right? All right, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I agree with Seth Rollins. All right. That's because you fucking think Roman's the head of the Yeah, he is the head of the table, all right? And he took the food off of the table, all right? He took the food off of the table from the tribal chief, all right? And you will acknowledge him, King Slayer, this year at WWE Super Slim. Because, you know, the only thing that Roman is the head of the fucking leg that's holding up the table. Alright, listen, alright, alright, they're all in the BBC, so I'm just trying to bring the shield back together. The bullet shield has changed. I, 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 I know they're good apart, but they're great together, Bree. They're great together. They Think about what they can be. 
Like, at first, yeah. EC3 reemerged in 2018, grabbing the biggest ego you've ever seen in NXT. I say, I'm gonna tell you something that you're not going to like. T-shirt sales, Bree. Think about the children. I don't want to know who I think was the most non-significant member of the Shield. Oh no! I speak fast. Let me destroy these facts. Before the head of the table and the the catering member of the table, you know, one of us checking food, were anything. Dean Ambrose was the one that was running around as the solo star of the shield, you know, the US champion, collecting Randy all the titles, whereas Roman is sick. And the Viper needs to rally quick. I knew that, but I said when they were together then, as the shield... they literally shield, had to fucking make a battle royal with Ambrose's belt on the line to get that belt off of him. I'm sorry, but when they and were together when it came to tag attack, matches, Buck, right, kid. when it came to tag matches, that head of the table was just in Dream World. Because that's all he ever has been in. When it came to a tag to match, you'd get knocked off the apron, the fall now. asleep on the outside for 10 to 15 minutes, <laughs> and did all the work in the ring, all then right, you'd tag in Seth Rollins to springboard boys. into the ring, like be the yep. opponent in the Here. face, dive yep. out the other side of the ring onto somebody else on the outside, get back oh, in the ring to out. then tag a woken cool. up Roman Reigns to hit a Superman yep. punch, go yep. hoorah, and then do a fucking triple powerball. That is a standard shield man. That is why insignificant member of the shield was Roman Reigns. Insignificant. Hey, this part though, I know it now. Don't get me wrong, but what I am saying is, I'm not saying he was bad. Yes, the most buried member of the shield by WWE. Wait, wait. All right, let's let's be let's be honest. Y'all didn't even give Puck a chance to even answer. So, uh, Puck, who are you saying is the most insignificant member of the shield? John Moxley. Wow. Excuse you. Excuse you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen, y'all. This is this is what they want. Okay. This is what they want. All right. I just want y'all to know that we're surrounded by Quinn Tang. All right. And this is what they want. They want the BBC at each other's throats. They want John Moxley and Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. All right. <laughs> Listen, this is Team Trump over here, all right? All right, so let's let's. All right, listen, all right. We're, we don't need any any commentary from Death Row, all right? We know what you guys are up to. All right. No, he did. He's saying Roman Reigns is. I'm not with none of this. These guys are all in the BBC. I was Roman Reigns. Now when no. the SHIELD no longer existed, yeah, Dean Ambrose, yes, was the most wow. buried member of said fucking former faction because you only wanted to push the hoorah guy with like hoorahs and they wanted to fucking try and push fucking Jesus. I agree. Because they thought he was Jesus. And then when Jesus didn't work, he became a messiah. And then when that didn't work, he tried to become a triple rod. And when that doesn't work, he's going to become fucking the burial, fucking going around, trying to fucking burn it down. All of them would win. This could do it. Yes. What is keeping you know, this competitor going? Dean Ambrose actually beat Roman and Seth Rollins from his world championship. He, he wasn't Seth Rollins. He's Becky's husband. Really? You know, that, it was AJ Styles, really. Things are not looking good right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will never say I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
No, I'm, I'm saying, saying that. I'm saying that Dean Ambrose lost technically Dane Rhodes. He said he ruled the match against AJ Styles. But it, was, it wasn't like AJ Styles. He was like, like Dane Rhodes was like, and, you know what I'm saying? Dane Rhodes would stop Dean Ambrose from, you know, pretty good speed match. So I guess I get what you mean by he lost, you know, he lost it in the probably the most shameful way. Now, Randy's done. Yep, handling BBC business the way he should. Put it to him, Randy. Give it to him. Fuck the TNA championship. Oh, damn. Yep, we want the AEW title now. That's the AEW's number one contender. Is this your number one contender? The neck breaker? Yeah. Oh, well, then shit, yeah. man. He's yeah. talented. Cool. Listen, I don't... I don't know what EC3's daddy did... But Randy Orton's daddy and Randy Orton's granddaddy could wrestle catches catch can with catches catch can. His dad couldn't fucking wrestle. He needed to have a fucking broken fucking hand fucking for like 15 fucking years. His uncle, all right, is one of the greatest. It was a suplex. It was the first suplex ever performed, Kingslayer. He invented the suplex. <laughs> <laughs> this was before this was before wrestlers had moves. This was the most devastating move in sports. His great granddad invented the entrance. He invented the clothesline. He performed the first ever clothesline. Listen, it's the most devastating leg drop. was the finisher. Nah, nah, you right. That is the setup. That is the setup. Yeah, because he did the gorilla press and then came off the rope with the splash. Yeah. Nah, he's right. Yeah, that's true too. Over, so 
FM club. Hmm? You know how early I think it's only happening in the Wait, that's weird Because y'all are actually on the same coast Y'all like in the same state Alright, well I'll try it out Yep I can hear from it It's like all right, Sabu versus Six Nine, huh? ECW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Extreme Championship Wrestling. This is not Joey Styles, but Joey Styles is probably the greatest commentator of all time. I said it. Yep. Whole pay-per-views by himself. Definitely need to get a new, new Tron up there. Alright, let's check back in with the boys. With WEB, the boys. Alright. Did something happen? Wait, what happened? I left and came back so so y'all could hear each other. Can y'all hear each other or not? What's happening? Oh. oh Alright, well then it ain't me. No. Yeah, now that's what it was for me too, but I'm figuring that's because he's just away from the from the phone receiver or whatever. Good. Wait, but y'all can hear each other though now, right? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear everybody too. Well, listen, everybody on the stream can hear both of y'all, so that's all that matter. You, you know, you know what? That's, that's what it is because both of you are in the same state, right? But you probably don't have the same ISP. Nah, but it usually be, they usually be like Fronto and Nacho, and they on a separate coast, that's or or uh, Bree and Malik, and they on a separate coast. But, but, but major, oh. like, a different country. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Yep, he got that super strong internet. The Lannister wires. Take us. We already got Kate Blanchett on everything golden. Golden lovers. Golden cousins. Here we do. Yes, we do. We got golden everything, King Sir. Um, 
No, you got you got Lannister gold, which is probably just Bannister gold. She got off of somebody's staircase. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, King said you need to worry less about us and Bad Boy and worry more about Teddy Ali and Sinatra unit. What do you mean? Nacho took core four member number three and core four member number four from you guys. Yep. No. Put goddamn Roman and Seth in this match. I should have put Seth and Roman. Oh shit! <laughs> I think he just told us. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna do that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the fuck? He like turned around, like he told this motherfucker something right quick and shit. Like he forgot the microwave was on at the house and shit. Not the microwave, but you know what I mean. Why? Traditionals English hot chocolate. Maybe that's what I need from right now. That's what I'm about to go do. <laughs> this, there's only three things that are for certain. <laughs> there's only three things for certain in life death. Truth and consequences <laughs> and taxes. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that's about the only time and way that they ever gonna win some goddamn championships. Let's talk about it, right? This 24/7 chasing championship ass motherfucker and this goddamn man. You know something? I got the right mind to challenge both of you guys for the African American championship, but I won't because creed and and truth are disgrace to African Americans. I said it. I didn't have to shuck and job to get this championship all right all right so so maybe you guys should chase Kane around the back maybe <laughs> maybe you guys should chase Kane and Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins around the back all right and find a 24-7 title Listen, listen, I'm not about to implicate myself in something like that, all right? Black Lives Matter, y'all. All right. Black Lives Matter. I said it, Puck. I said it. They do. 
And you know one other thing, not all lives matter. Yep, I said that too. <laughs> I don't know anything about Malcolm X's life. I am a fan of Godfather of Harlem. For f I love Forrest Whitaker and his eyebrows and his eye, his lazy one too. I don't discriminate. Forrest Whitaker is one of the finest actors this academy has. Oh God! Oh God! That's the only way Creed is getting any kind of push. All right, is if he shows us who he really is. All right, not a future king or a preacher. Well, not not you know, cause you know, you know, he over here preaching. Uh huh. Not some sort of a unicorn. Remember that because when he went to the King of the Ring tournament and becomes he will never not a fight club. Exactly what we said. He's not going to ever win the King of the Fight Club, alright? Ever. Ever. I can guarantee you that. Guarantee. Yeah. He will never, ever, and I mean ever. Uh, I bet you wish he would take Sammy Callahan, but we just want to give Sammy a chance to get his hands on him. I didn't even really realize that when I threw him in this match. That's kind of cool, though. That is kind of cool. Put Seth and, and Roman in this match. Team building exercise. It's a team building exercise, alright? We're all in the same gang. It's all in the BBC. These death row guys separate us, y'all. It's Kingslayer's plan. I see you are, uh, you claim them, I guess, but I'm like, fuck, dude. What a throw! So I didn't claim him. All right, I didn't claim him at all. It was Heather. All right, and Josh. Yep. Uh, the same microwave I just pulled this traditional English hot chocolate out of. I'll put it back in for one time, Bree. Bree, you got a minute and 30 seconds before you can come back. Yep, and that's what you get. You're talking bad about the, the big dog, the tribal chief. Acknowledge him. So did he jump on this as soon as, uh... I remember he used to hate Roman, now all of a sudden he love him, huh? What do you mean? Roman? Yeah, as soon as he came back, he came back against, uh, in the match with Braun and Bray. All right, and everything Bray has been working towards for the last five years. How long has Braun been there? Because Braun got with Bray two weeks after he got there. So Bray and Braun been working this shit the entire time Braun's been there. All right. And in the middle of their SummerSlam match, Roman just came like a lightning bolt, like motherfucking Thor and shit. Krakow! <laughs> just came through, Superman punching everybody in the fucking match. Like, like they pushes didn't mean shit. And it was there, it was there that I knew 
that Roman Reigns was ready. All right. And the second thing I knew was that this was all WWE needed. Nope, nope. This is all they needed for us to be right here where Bray ain't got no job and Braun ain't got no job. But Roman on top of the wrestling world. Number two on the PWI. All right. Number two. Alright, I can't speak to none of that. I mean, it's, uh, it's not lost. It's all those years back that Vince said, and, uh, and I quote, only he would inject the virus. He knows he's in trouble. Because, you know, he wasn't getting his own way. He wasn't getting his own way when he came home and either. When this guy's on, look out. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. One more look at it. Oh, wow. he went there. Damn, Corey. But can he follow up? And there's the cover. Oh. You're going to get fucking the most booed person over. Ah, you I can't believe this show. This is like really wild to me because when he was the GM, that was not that long ago that he was the GM and like the whole thing about him being GM was that, well, you know, I guess it's over for DV and like he made a comeback like a year and a half later man he was determined though man he said that shit at every stop yep GG's. Oh, Look like the preacher was trying to get that shit. I mean, uh, Bruiser was trying to get one on uh, Creed. No, Callahan. Callahan. They all look alike. Yep. I guess this takes a new uh, turn to say your prayers. Yeah, they out here. They working. No, wrong button. Somebody needs to send this one a new controller. I got a new controller, alright? This is my new controller, alright? It a couple of times. It's new to me. Yeah, mine does too. I think that's what the person did before the <coughs> club had it. <laughs> uh, it's new to me. See, there it goes. It stopped. Unless you're holding it. I'm holding it. <laughs> yep. Y'all over here making these jokes, but y'all ain't seen me on a stick since I got my new super controller. I'd probably oh whoop y'all and everything. That's you're scared to get to the neighborhood, that's why. What do you mean? I'm not scared. I'm trying to go through college. Listen, it's because of, it's because of people like you. Uh, there's a lot of uh, young black men who don't think that college is a viable option. You're trying to shame us for getting education, King Slayer? Huh? <laughs> don't change the subject. Yes, sir. Get him. I'm playing. Kingsler, I'm in mourning, alright? Alright, one of my mentors just passed away the other day. I'm in mourning. I don't have time for this, alright? I've canceled all uh, interviews. They want me to talk to some, 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 some news lady or something like that. And then I... I, I and then I spoke to uh, my, my mentor, Archie, Archibald, Archie Baldwin, Archie, Archibald Baldwin.
Alright, and now... Yeah, that's what we need to be getting right now. Where, where's, where's something that got some battery on it? I need something. Wait, what? I thought y'all figured this out like 20 minutes ago. You got kicked out like 10 times. Yeah, Oh, you did? Alright, let's get it right, right. This is a Jerome Young track and field. I think we got it. Hey, stupid question, but when did New Jack die? I didn't know he died. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago. Yep. And there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armor. No shit. He might have it. Oh, what a slam. He's looking good. Rest in peace, New Jack. Well, as much as he had fucking endured, man, I'm not really surprised, you know? Man, I am. I am very surprised. You know, that one move he did off the fucking tables and almost killed himself and that guy. That was crazy. That is his style. That's what you remember, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Table spot was legendary. I know which one you're talking about. That's great, though. <laughs> yep, speaking of a table spot. My point is, if you ask like 99 fucking out of 100 people watching this, remember the most about fucking New Jack. 99 of them are probably about to say, let's the guy fucking get stabbed in the fucking head. This fucks like the 100th person. I do remember him stabbing that one guy in the head with the fucking thing. One of them led that kid wet mass transit or whatever it was. And I'm like, yeah, 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 you see this, Fronto? This is because Bree just said it. You can't hear it, Fronto. But Bree just said she won't acknowledge you as her tribal chief because you're not the tribal chief in the BBC. Yep, we have a tribal chief in the BBC. I did not say that. I said acknowledge you, not. <laughs> She voted for Cole Quinn, all right? All right? But she doesn't have anything to say to you, Fronto. <laughs> <Who's Cole Quinn? laughs> Cholos. <laughs> Who has Cole Quinn killed? You know, we used to have a banker around here. Now... Right. That, that biker died just at the thought of the Kingslayer showing up somewhere. Yep, Cole Quinn's handler. To, uh, he took himself out, he drowned himself. You had the banker and you had somebody else too. Who was it? Uh, the bartender. You want to know what happened to them? You guys. You guys happened to them. Kingslayer and Puck. Uh -huh. Yep, you guys happened to bear money. Yep, you guys happen to the bartender and the and the and the and the banker. Nobody controls the pace of while we flush the back. Well, that's because that bar went dry. I think I no longer needed to be there. Oh, and talk about fighting dirt. You know what would actually be really scary? I'm gonna message you, Kingslayer, but not right now. 
That would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Messaging it would be scary. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's already like what damn you keep talking about about uh when Hogan and Warrior goddamn it's like when the when the lightning strikes Mount Olympus and it's like wait what? What? Like what are you guys talking about? Oh yeah, it's like the cosmic connection between thunder and lightning, brother. It's, it's like wait, you guys are both into this? Like what? Yep, but Hogan and Warrior are both in the BBC. Wait, hold on. They did team up then. Why would they have said all that? Wait, was that even Warrior? You were fucking thinking you fucking macho man and ultimate warrior. They were the fucking Stop trying to change. Stop trying to fucking retcon something and put these two that didn't like each other. I searched the infinites of the multiverse, all right, and I found one world where Hogan and Warrior were tag teaming, and I'm going there right now. I'll be right back. Oh, man, jarring headbutt to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. Two, and they kick yeah, out at two. Wow, that's, that's pure power, times. guys. I know he was with the uh, Warriors. Yes, but they weren't an actual tag team. Like, you know, like Macho Man and Ultimate oh, Warrior. No, they actually no, had a tag Warrior. team. Name. Yeah, I know it was Survivor Series. Like Warrior, At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody Undertaker gets seriously injured. Then that's oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the his, apron. Uh, Dodges a bullet there. That was Boom, what impact. Saddam, oh, boy, saying, he is rolling. Yeah, this is Survivor Series. And if he hits this, this one's yeah. over. And yeah. there's the Yurinagi. Landed them. This might be it. Oh, my. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, continuing to punish them. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. Corey, that's one of the biggest upsets we've ever seen. That was shocking, shocking highway robbery. And that's his opponent is about to blow a gas in his GG's Teddy Ali slipping out of here with a huge victory and the referee got assaulted because of it yeah by the way I just went to the expect anything else at the end of the new jack match I went to that other part of the multiverse and the whole commit warriors Kingslayer are only our halfway no, alright the survivor series match it doesn't count oh Kingslayer I wrote you ultimate warrior match man actually had a tag team fucking name they were a tag team they were the ultimate maniacs yeah. You know, just like Macho Man and Hogan had an actual oh, tag team name, they were an actual tag team. Yeah, they were the mega powers, alright? Ultimate Warrior and Hogan were never an actual tag team, they didn't have a name. They have a name now, alright? It doesn't matter what their name is. Their name is the Bad Boy Contacts, the Bad Boy Contracts, the Bad Boy Connections, and the Bad Boy Club. Hey, Kingslayer, check, check your messages. Wait. I don't know why he's not letting me talk to Bronco. This is very sad. My <laughs> bud! I thought you'd say that. Everybody's my bud. It's, it's funny. funny. I have, um, for, you know oh, you are. man, come on. 200 points more and then I'm done. Hot. Hmm. You know, you know where you are. Earth Ray right now? Who? Earth Ray right now? Ray, is that on the roof? What? Earth to Raymond? Where, 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 where is that? That's Scorpion. Oh, that was the first one. As we get underway, it's going to be the hard-fought match between these two superstars. No, that's where you burn the house down. I didn't even know he was talking about the scorpion. Oh, man. Rewind a minute. 
What do you mean that was the first one? Black cloak and fucking baseball bat and fucking. It's Sting! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If a scorpion coffin drop free, if a, if a scorpion coffin drop free, I'm not gonna lie. Bree gonna be the one doing a coffin drop, cause don't nobody trying to get hit by that goddamn scorpion. Motherfuckers gonna fall on the ground just to avoid that shit. Her coffin drop. Oh, good. Says Venom on his Tron. 
Yes, now you're starting to understand, Kingslayer. Yep. So what if the fire him? Wait, who, Randy Orton? <laughs> that could be it right there. That's what I could use. That's what you would call Carnage. Aha moment. Aha moment just hit me. Aha uh -huh. uh -huh moment. So smart, 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 smart. Mm -hmm. No, he's gonna try to kill you on What do you mean? He's already got the viper and a rattlesnake. All we need to do is him to say, let's make it official. Let's yeah. make it I don't think there's no other snakes in wrestling. They got they they defang um, the other see, viper. Okay. Yeah, again, I don't think there's no other snakes in wrestling. Piper. Yeah, like I said, when I say wrestling, I mean the BBC. Oh, okay, uh, so we're going we're going below the belt. All right. All right. Um, King, so you got a car for ECW? I mean, TNA. There you go. For, for ECW. Um, EC3. Man, I should drive EC3 to ECW. That'd be great. Think about it. EC3 is ECW. ECW is EC3. Uh, that, 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 that does mean that can rebrand it. You know, just see that it stands for the essential characters. Yep. Jerry Lawler called it the Game of Crack Wrestling. And when it comes out that Donald Trump has all 14 of these votes and they've used dead yeah. votes from dead. Alright. Yeah, but when WWE took over at Bree, it became empty catering wrestling. They had some of those Kingslayer. The start of that tag team match. Check your messages. Alright. Do you even know all the receipts I sent you about what stuff I sent you? About Josh. And they got Mr. Tang in a show closer promo? What the fuck for? See, she used to have that really sweet voice, now she's got that fucking. Demonic, scary <laughs> voice like that. Like, see, hear that? She's like. Ah, uh, you canceling this promo? What did I say? It's like, oh shit! Just leave it, leave it there. So we see. Wait, is there only two matches? Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm asking about the promo. Oh, it'll probably change when you set up this tag team match anyway. Ah, uh, what is this? A two on two or a three on three? Oh, it's a two on two, right? Two on two. Normal joint. This the one with Justin and uh. And no, eating. Like, 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 yep. That's Frank versus <laughs> Brian Cole. Oh, that's why you keep saying Frank. Every time you say that, I keep thinking about the Punisher and Chris United. Sadly. And Frank Sinatra. Yeah, that's why he's saying it right there. Um, uh, where's this guy at? Justin Hermit. Justin Hermit. Did you see the message or no? No. Yep. Alright, there goes Sego. Alright, and I think it was Adam Cole. It is. <laughs> Brian Danielson. Oh, he ain't in that group. Spit on that. If you sent Baby. me another fucking fighter <laughs> or scorpion or some fucking demon no, in your it's house. No, it's not. There's no demon in my house. Although, this photo I'm about to send to the Hangouts chat might break me. That sounds like a very, very bad WWE demon in your house. <laughs> Finn Balor fucking... Alright, it's return. Oh, you just gave me a really good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Wait, so it didn't change that promo? No. I'm gonna change this match right here and see if that'll do it. Yeah, change that match. Alright. It's still gonna be a one on one. Yep. Alright, I know it ain't gonna be no Iron Man match though, so let me go ahead and hit that button. Uh, wrong man, that's it. Now you got to get your dome split. Alright, alright, what You're kind of match is it? Wait, what's she talking about? Which character do you want? Say again. Which character do you want? Uh, for what battle? For this match. Against him. Yeah, against who? TV champion. Oh, oh. Damn. Preacher don't have a belt, does he? Nope. Alright.
like that. Like, 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 like
Bars. Yep. TikTok, that'll kick you out. Yep.
so, so tragic. tragic. Well, I'm allergic to you, and I'm fucking scared of him. Yep, Preacher taking on the Suki TV title on the line, and so is, um, I don't know, man. The whole fight club, I think, hangs in the balance. We're trying to figure out what's on the mind of Mr. Tang. Mm -hmm. They were? Yeah, he cutting some kind of promo out here. He set it up himself. There ain't in no robbery or nothing. Not, not right now. Right now, it's uh, it's Suki versus the preacher. Right after this is uh Tang's promo. I'm trying to think who he could be in a robbery, but he won't even on TV last week. I don't think so. What? What? It's gonna be uh. Uh, with Casey. Yeah, we start. He's going to come out and tell everybody that fucking they won the fucking election to stop listening to all this fucking propaganda. I don't know, man. I I don't know. And it's I, a new day, so move on. I don't know who he's going to call out. I'm going to say that he's calling out, uh. The big dog, Roman Reigns. Yep. That'll be blank. Oh, you know what's funny? So he's, he's like, like the big, big dog. dog. So he's the big, big bitch. bitch. Is this because there's only one table? There's only there's only enough room for one table and one head head this table and one guy to take food off of this table. All right, goddamn it! Now let's talk about it, okay? I don't know what's going on. What's gotten into you, Bree? All right, but obviously hanging out with the Kingster has had a bad effect on you, and I'm glad you can't talk to Fraucho right now. Maybe that's what's best right now. You know, you over here voting for Cole Quinn. Calling your tribal chief a bitch. <laughs> a big bitch. Yeah, fine. You can see that Roman's the head of the table in the BBC. Really? <laughs> I'm the leader of the Bullet Club. That makes me the head of the household. Oh, you God. Can... Listen, all right. Everybody's got to eat, and they eat off of this table, all right? I know it. You know it. The preacher knows it. These preachers what know it. All right, we got a table. We have a big breakfast bar. What? Now in catering? Head of the household, I made sure there's enough space for everybody to eat. And since Roman is the big dog, he can eat off the floor. He laid off the floor. He can, he can catch all the food from the, the top of the table. Alright, there is no food on the top of the table, Kingslayer. Man. These boys are out. You, you know that since Roman likes to keep calling himself the head of the table and everything, the, the day that fucking I actually beat Roman was IRL, he'll just be a head on a table. Do I slay him? So are you saying he's the king in Samoa? Are you acknowledging your tribal chief? Is that what's happening here? He's from Florida. No. <laughs> Florida. He's in Pepsi Cola. Does that mean he's got the apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur? The whole club is looking at Yep. So 
Does he have veneers? Yeah. I need to go. Oh. oh my God, I gotta go. So he used to have small teeth like a child. <laughs> Remember the image that we posted before about all the different teeth the fucking Tom Cruise had? No, wait. Oh, wow. oh yeah, Tom yeah, Tom I think I do remember this. The same Roman Reigns. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Disgusting. Alright, yeah. Alright. 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 Oh man. Oh man. All right, yo. Oh man. Literally, before Roman got his teeth fixed, I would see his teeth and they would remind me of my nephew. Oh man. And my nephew's like five. I need to go outside. This is deplorable. This is deplorable. I can't even remember what the first thing that made my face hurt was. Oh, it was. <laughs> Taking on a great GFT, competing in Mortal Kombat. Don't change that dial. Yep. Oh man. That is wild. That is wild. Two men, I don't Ooh. think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Harsh impact. And Zagari, right on the mark. TV title on the line, y'all. Suki taking on the preacher. And why wouldn't he? Is he done? Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Okay, I'm gonna post, post the pictures of his TV. Huh. Damn. Preacher getting a lot of action over the past few days. Taking on Montez Ford. Feeding a tag team match against uh, Switchblade Conspiracy. And uh, Truth and Consequences, as well as taking on somebody else a few days ago. Oh, yeah. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh boy, he is rolling. Yeah, he's won every match so far, isn't he? He won the tag team match. He beat Montez. When this guy's on, look out. Yep. Can he beat the shooter? 
Damn. Big opportunity here. Oh, uh, the Bruce is up there. Yep, and he's arguing with Suki. Hooked up and eludes that one. The champion into the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Damn, Ring's got fake teeth. Man, it's definitely, definitely like. Wait, what? Coachman says WWE punished what? Punished who? Punished you, coach. You deserved it. Oh, and he reverses it. Uh, punished him for not going to Afghanistan. I got beat up by the Undertaker and Batista. <laughs> oh man. Why he trying to bury Batista now? And Undertaker. Now they got some movies out. Man, this, this, man. My coach been trying to speak out all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Is it because Undertaker's got a new movie coming up? So does Batista. Coachman can't get a movie. Here we go. We knew this was coming. Yep, it's Bruiser. Because it's because Roman Reigns has backdrop suplex. That is probably true. Dude, oh my gosh, is this is top five. Nope. Oh, those are quite good. Like, 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 you would think with the amount of money that guy used, he'd just be fixed. This might be it, guys. Yep. Yeah. 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 Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. Uh, like, that certainly uh, seems to be the case. Wow, is Suki rolling through <laughs> with the one, two. Oh shit, preacher with the one, two. And there's the kick out. And there's the phone dying. I know what I could do though. Oh, preacher fucked it up. He fucked it up. Oh shit, that might have been the costly mistake of the match. It's Suki. What a. His teeth are really triggering. Yep, and the bruises back on the apron. The referee might have seen that. And it's Suki. Brock Lesnar's teeth make me uncomfortable. Brock Lesnar has beautiful teeth and a beautiful mane. Yeah, you're right. He ain't in the BBC, and I'm appalled by Roman Reigns. That's what's appalling. Not his wrestling, obviously. He's the second best wrestler in the world. I'm hard pressed. Somebody needs to double check this list. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I'm curious as to where Adam Cole and Nick Aldis are at on this list. Cesaro comes up really fast. Yep, I was watching that match. This shit was great. Imagine why I won't come up with anything WWE related. I know it. You know it. Peacock knows it. These Peacocks knows it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should have brought that back when Cesaro did that. When the Cesaro should have got it back over. Made him forget all about Benoit. You know, like how... Oh! 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 Um, Damn, the 
preacher on a hell of a roll. Yep. Like he has a hole instead of teeth, but the way he has his mouth, it says he doesn't have teeth. Gee, jeez. Damn. I guess we ain't got to wait too long to see what Mr. Tang was talking about, or who he's talking to. But you're a winner. And new TNA television champion, the preacher. Wow. They even have Gilbert. That's a legend. Bill Gilbert is a legend. Mr. Tang, Mr. Tang, what you got to say, Mr. Tang? I give up with you. Damn, they should have used Cesaro to get that back over. I think I'm going to be haunted by Brock Lesnar's teeth. Brock Lesnar's teeth are beautiful, Bree. You take that back. No, they're not. You know when you get, uh, like a dog phone? <laughs> nope, I don't. <laughs> like, the inside is like a different color on the bone. Like a tweet. Mm -hmm. That's what his teeth look like. It's... It's my energy too. Wow, wow, really? Wow, how? Wow, what? Why do you sing wow? Um. Um, um, you know, it's real intricate. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how you claim the shenanigans are even streaming for the last five straight shows. <laughs> what the fuck? Somehow you managed to set this up. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> somehow. I set a damn thing up. This is funny. This is funny. <laughs> I you were no, no, no. I'm wowing the fact that Mr. Tang came all the way out here tonight to call out Cole Quinn. Yeah, I just think it's real intricate the way I've been calling y'all the Quinn Tangency, you know, tonight. And all of a sudden, he's calling. There, y'all, you guys are having a discussion tonight. Yep. I ain't mad at it though. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Man, I feel a little bit uh, hugely disappointed. 
<laughs> I feel hugely disappointed. Uh, she ain't say that shit to me. <laughs> Maybe not to you. Possibly about you. Yep, you gotta check the group chat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was gonna say whoever Mr. Tang's calling out is about to be Trump vice president, <laughs> but this is obviously not the case. No, that would mean that Quinn would have a place here if he turned on Tang, and that's not the case. Um, according to these votes, he is. Uh, I'm just waiting for this recount before we could declare. Well, matter of fact, I'm not waiting for no recount. I'm already about to declare victory for Trump. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm declaring victory for Trump. Now, I'm just waiting for this recount it's to confirm false. that. What? No, it's not. No, it's not. Put the offering to the back in the bag. He is. His bag is called the White House. It's called the Oval Office. No, it's called the Trash House. Listen, Bree, from the sounds it's of it. Because he's pure garbage. From the sounds of things, you're trying to steal food off of our table. I know, I know. It's the same table. Yep. No. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm -mm. Yep. You gotta check that wood. It's a uh, big why birch you, wood. Why, why do you assume the table is made of wood? Um. Um. All, aren't all <laughs> tables made out of wood? No. Oh. Well, all the tables in the BBC like are. Alright, well, I know John Moxie ain't going through no glass table. Well, nah, that's not true. That's not that's true. Really not true. I know he's not going through no metal tables, though. I'm going to chalk this up to Quinn and Tang discussing uh, campaign strategies and political strategies. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that is the president and your vice presidential candidate. This place is a Man. I, can't I definitely did not expect that. I definitely did not expect that. But anything could happen on open fight night. I wonder if that's calling him out to a fight or not. Yeah, I'm a little curious about that one as well. Oh, it was a self-promotion with an interruption. So but Quinn I'm just kidding. interrupted him. Well, that was just a political, uh, a political, uh, um, conversation what between. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, Quinn Tang is still going to fight this election to the very end. I believe it. Yep. I'm still getting networking. Yep, sounds like you got you a Netflix buffer. Yep. But why am I not here? Damn, we slowly approaching the lower room, but hold on, man. I said two weeks. We need another week. Seeing that public service announcement was brought to you by Queen Tang, proving the fact that once and for all, anybody can call out anybody in TV. Yep. Or interrupt anybody. Yep. No, sponsored by. Yep. 
I think I'm gonna do the same thing. You got anything y'all wanna say, beautiful people, before we get the hell up one out of here? Yes, first of all, say hi. It's Trump propaganda, alright? Fronto, she says she'll never acknowledge you. Thank you, Bree. Appreciate it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bree wants us to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the tooth. Oh God. All right, we out of here, baby. <laughs> All platforms. Hold it down, Bree. To be the man, you have to beat the cat. Wait, that's not gonna match. That's gonna happen. None of these are. Uh, yep. We're gonna reshuffle this deck. Okay, okay. good night, you guys. Goddamn door door is calling the post place. Catch you later. Hold it down. Bye, bye. Peace!